sorry. <laughs> sorry about this. decided to touch the position of my camera and uh, that just never ends well that just never ends well Sweet, now, nah, right? Let's just go. We we'll start in a second. Okay, can you guys hear me? I think I fixed it. Oh, Blue is not there. <laughs> My bad. Hold on. I think I fixed a little bit. I, I would need to, to move a little bit, but it's okay. Hey, thank you so much for the biddies. Oh, Reflection, thank you so much for gifting us. Hey, Region, hey. Hey, and oh. Okay, hold on. Hold on. I'm less big. Is this better? Hmm. I I feel like I I'm longer now, but less big. Is this good? Is this weird? Oh my gosh! I shouldn't have touched my camera. Did you guys have a good day? Hi, Mochipad. Hi, hi. Uh, hold on. I was. Hold on. I was. Move it a bit down. Oh, you can see my table. This is better. Hey, Xarian, hey. What's up? 
One second. One second. We shall know. This should be good. Hey, 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 Regis, hey. Reflection, thank you so much again. Thank you for, for 7 a.m.? It's 7 a.m. for you, Ulcerous Revelier? Holy bunnies. That's, that's, oh my gosh. That's impressive. Ah, oh, thank you. Thank you. Ah. Uh, I don't suppose you have my oh panic. Oh panic. Okay. Five PM gang. <laughs> yeah, it's five PM here too. I've been working. Oh really? Ah oh. Sorry. I was having some blood for dinner. I mean, for lunch. Some of it was left over in my teeth. <laughs> oh, thank you, Castro. Thank you. Thank you. You guys ready to start? You're playing the new Zelda? How is it? Yeah, I, I don't think I... I'm so sorry I'm so late today. I... I don't think I can... Um... um I don't think I should play the new Zelda before I give you guys a chance to play. Hey Mike, hey, hey, hey Andy, hey. Okay, may, may the mass effect be with you. <laughs> Gosh, today I have been so nervous. Hey Alice, hey. This game is epic. This game is so freaking epic. Uh, so many people say that they consider this game to be... the best game they have ever played. Wait, what happened? No, did I start? But I didn't change anything. I didn't create my character. Wait. Oh, panic. Wait, can I still do that? Oh, panic. Wait, 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 wait. Out of four. Panic. Panic. <laughs> I'm sorry. Panic. Yeah, but what if my character looks weird in this game? Oh, I do everything later? Creations like Oh, okay. That's why I was worried. It was like... Hold on. So, creation is later. It's not now. Okay, okay. Okay, that's good. Okay, I had no idea. Yeah, I just panic and out of four. So, we'll play on normal. No auto level up. We shall Oh, okay, yeah. That that screen that I, I passed really fast, I was confused what was that about. Okay, so rank, vanguard. Rex survived. Ashley died. Conceal was saved. Captain Anderson. Yeah, this is... This is basically what we did, right? Yeah, Ashley died. <laughs> Ashley died. Can you guys just give me one second? I forgot to get water.
Bang your face, bang your face, bang your face, bang your face. Bang your face, bang your face, bang your face. Oh my goodness. Happy Deuce, thank you so much for your subscription. It is so hacking kind of you. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you so, so much. May the bunnies be with you. Oh, heck, thank you. Thank you, thank you. I, I just grabbed some water. And... Uh, And, uh, I would just, we'll start in one second. Hey, Jen, hey, there's no music here. That's kind of odd. Hmm. Guys, I'm sorry. I almost slipped and died. But I survived, so that's good. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. It's all good. The heck? I don't think the perfect game has been made. No, no. We, 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 we didn't, we didn't start yet. We are still in the importing the save file. I'm sorry, it's just taking me a long time because today I'm really nervous and anxious. So. So I'm a little bit, you know, slow. Yeah, everything's okay. I'm just, I don't know, just feeling homesick, you know? And I'm a bit stressed because um the things to to have boo back home they they're still working on it and 
It's all good. It's all good. Uh, oh, no. No, 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 no. So we're about to start. Oh, you have pizza? I have just... Thank you so much, Brenda. Thank you so much for your subscription. Uh, I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoy your bunny emotes. Thank you. <laughs> so. <laughs> there is, yeah. For now. For now. Thank you. Uh, it will. It will work out. So, can I change, like, my... My anything? I can't. Hey, Connor, how are you doing? Hey, Clyde, hey, hey. Is King Lion here? Is Eva here? Have a nice trip, see you next fall. Berg, really? 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 Oh, really? Took you and you? Oh my gosh. I still couldn't reach Eddie. Okay, but it's not letting me change here. You go, you go, you go. I wonder why. You read you. Oh. Six years next month, let's go. Oh, thank you so much for gifting a sub to, to Game Lion. Oh, thank you. And Anon, thank you so much for your to sub for oh, a sacrifice. Six years? Six years? Oh my gosh. You grew up so fast. Ah, mm, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> what the hell, Nidar? Irishian, thank you again for the for the sub to give Lion, and thank you again, Anon, for the six years of support. It means a lot. Gosh, I can't believe I have been on Twitch for six years. That's crazy. That is crazy. Time flew by so fast. So fast. Right? Uh, I feel like Val has been on Twitch since Twitch was founded. <laughs> yeah, time was really fast. Um, okay, so are you guys ready to go? Uh, is everyone in your seats? You have your seat belts? Do they use seat belts on spaceships? Lucy, I was never a FIFA streamer. I streamed FIFA twice for charity. So I had a really good reason. Okay. Wow, city. I see. I see. Have fun. There's Lysa. Hi. Okay, ready? I'll press the button. Okay. Ready? Set? Does anyone want to grab some cockporn? I mean, popcorn, sorry. Uh, now is your last chance to grab some popcorn? Okay. Popcorn. I meant to say popcorn, Lucifer. Lucifer, you're twisting things. Popcorn. Okay, okay. Let's go. A Bioware production. So, this was what? Game number three from Bioware? No? Shepard number three. Did everything right. More than we could have hoped for. Commander Shepard uncovered the truth. And still, it's not enough. We're at war. 
No one wants to admit it, but humanity is under attack. Whoo, that's a nice ass. sending her to fight Geth. Geth. We both know they're not the real threat. The Reapers are still out there. And it's up to us to stop them. The Council will never trust Cerberus. They'll never accept our help. Even after everything humanity has accomplished. But Shepard... They'll follow her. She's a hero. A bloody icon. But she's just one woman. If we lose Shepard, humanity might well follow. Oh, Penny. Number 12? Then see to it that we don't... Oh yeah, there was also Jade, right? Jade Empire. And Baldur's Gate. One month after the devastating Gaff attack on the Citadel, the galactic community struggles to rebuild. The Alliance has made tremendous sacrifices to save the Citadel. Enormous machines, eradicate organic civilization every 50,000 years have returned. But those who know the truth, search for is just the beginning. Ha! I feel like the only way to read that is to shake like I did. Ah, <laughs> oh, man, the Normandy! Five. Wait, is the this audio good? FTL drives. Okay. Board is green. We are running silent. How good? We're wasting our time. Four days searching up and down this sector, and we haven't found any sign of Geth activity. Gosh, the graphics are so much better. Three ships went missing here in the past month. Something happened to him. My money's on slavers. The Terminus system is crawling with them. Picking up something on the long-range scanner. Unidentified vessel. Hmm. Looks like a cruiser. Doesn't match any known signatures. Oh boy. Cruiser is changing course. Now on intercept trajectory. Can't be. Stealth systems are engaged. There's no way a Geth ship could possibly. It's not the Geth. Brace for evasive maneuvers! Oh, panic. What's that? Presley! Ugh. Kinetic barriers down. Isn't that the racist guy? Multiple hull breaches! Weapons offline! Somebody get that fire out! Oh fuck. Wait, is, is that Liara? Did they nerf her Shepard. butt? Distress beacon is ready for launch. Will the Alliance get here in time? Uh... Uh... Yes. Better? Ah. Panic! Panic! I couldn't say! I'm not doing this just so they can find our frozen corpses. Get everyone onto the escape shuttles. Oh my Joker's gosh. Joker's still in the cockpit. He won't evacuate. I'm not oh, leaving shit. I need you to get the crew onto the evac shuttles. I'll take care of Joker. Wait, he, he's gonna Liara, sink? go. With the ship? Now. Aye, aye. Oh, no. Oh, no. Everybody in! Go, go, go! No, no, no. Oh! Panic? Wasn't the lady the one that was always sitting down in the dinner dining table? Oh no, the poor Normandy! No! What the fuck? Who attacked us? Holy shit. Joker! It's okay, I'm coming! We've suffered heavy damage from an unknown enemy. Come on, baby, hold together. Hold together. Was he talking with the ship? Did he call the ship 
Did, did, did he call this shit baby? Look up. <gasps> wow. Wait, am I on the timer? Wow. What was that? Wait. Joker. Oh. Penny. It's okay. I'm sure we can repair this. Come on, Joker. We have to get out of here. No, I won't abandon the Normandy. I can still save her. No. The Normandy's lost. Going down with the ship won't change that. Oh my gosh. Yeah, okay. Help me up. Oh my gosh. They're coming around for another attack. Who is attacking us? Who's attacking us? Ah, watch the arm. Oh, did we break his arm? Oh no! Oh shit! Nobody else came to help him? Where's Rex? Where's Garrus? Where's Kaden? Did I save his life for nothing? Shepherd. Wait, wait! Okay. Oh, we're not in. Okay, that's horrifying. Oh my gosh. Imagine dying like that. That's it, we're done. Thank you for coming. So, the entire game is gonna be... A summary of what happened in Mass Effect 1. GG. Thank you guys so much for coming. Gosh, seriously, imagine dying like that on space. It, it, it reminds... Did you guys watch The Martian? When he, he, he flies around by... Uh, with a hole on his suit. And he, he keeps like the coordination. Gosh, that's a good movie. Yes. That's a comic. Oh, that's so nice. Just another routine mission. Why oh. do they always say that before a mission? Of course it's routine. You haven't done anything yet. It's everything that happens along the way. The choices you make. The paths you choose. That turn the routine into anything but. Of course, that's how it started. A routine mission. Answering a distress call. And look where that got me. We were testing out the Normandy, Captain Anderson's new ship, when the distress call came in. An Alliance patrol on Eden Prime had been attacked. They'd seen something they couldn't explain. And whatever it was, it was massive. <laughs> I hit the ground with my lieutenant, Caden Alenko. Good kid. Loyal, by the book. With a talent for biotics. We came across the lone survivor of the patrol, Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams, a soldier to the core, tough, disciplined, ready to take on whatever came her way. Ashley joined up with us and took us to the spot where she lost her squad. That's when we saw it, the ship. 
like her. nothing I'd ever seen. It was massive, scorching the colony and everything around it as it blasted away. We followed the path of destruction to an artifact, a beacon left by a long dead race called the Protheans. <laughs> yeah, they the colony didn't had dug it up, and whoever attacked them had tried to take it. Lieutenant Alenko made the mistake of getting too close. It hit him with some type of energy. I grabbed him and threw him out of the way. That's when it hit me. Hard. Every muscle in my body went rigid. I couldn't move. Could barely breathe. Everything went black. And then I saw something. A vision. A dream. A nightmare. By the time I woke up, we were halfway to the Citadel on our way to meet the Council. I was expected to explain what I'd seen. Anderson came along. So did Udina, our political representative on the Citadel. With those two heavyweights, it seemed <sighs> reasonable we could persuade the Council that the ship we'd seen was a potential threat. No. As was the individual behind the That's attacks. That's what happened in the previous game. The main suspect for the Eden Prime Massacre was a Turian specter named Saren. He'd been seen by one of the survivors from the colony at Eden Prime, and there was some evidence to suggest that the ship was connected to Saren. But even Udina's pointed accusations weren't enough to convince the Council. They just couldn't believe one of their chosen elite specters could be guilty of something like that. They needed oh proof, which meant I needed proof. Fortunately, oh I wasn't alone in my search. Garrus, another Turian, wanted to help. A top agent for Citadel security. Despite orders from his superiors that he shouldn't get involved, he told me he was suspicious of Saren and he had some useful leads. More importantly, he was willing to share them. That led me to Rex, the biggest, nastiest looking Krogan bounty He's hunter I've so ever cute. seen. He's so cute! He turned out to be more than just a brute. It was uh. his intel that led us to a fugitive with incriminating evidence on Saren. Oh, uh, yes. The fugitive turned out to be an energetic little quarry in Look at her! tech expert with a knack for hacking, she procured some information on Saren. Evidence that proved Saren was dirty. Tally's evidence proved that Saren was responsible for the massacre on Eden Prime, and the immense warship we'd spotted was in fact Saren's flagship. But it went much further. Saren was trying to find a way to bring back a race of sentient machines from dark space. Machines allegedly responsible for cleansing the galaxy of all organic life. These Romba? Reapers were blamed for wiping out Reapers all are just life thousand years ago, including space the Roombas, and disappearing back through the mass relays to dark space, leaving no trace that they'd ever been. That explained why Saren was after the beacon, and it made some sense out of my visions, but not much else. We couldn't convince the Council that the Reapers were a threat. But they agreed Saren had to be stopped. Okay. They stripped him of his Spectre status and gave me the honor of becoming the first human Spectre. My first task? Bring down Saren. Anderson decided to stay behind, giving up his ship, the Normandy. He told me I'd need it more than he would. Aww. He also pointed me in a direction. Aww. Liara. A Prothean expert, adept in biotics, and maybe most Ooh. importantly, daughter of Venezia. <gasps> Saren's oh, top lieutenant. She's sexy. And like most Asari, oh boy. as beautiful as she is intelligent, and born with a unique ability to meld with other species, Liara was able to help me decipher some of the vision the beacon had given me. Nothing concrete, but it gave me some clues. And a new appreciation for the Asari. Aww. Her technique for accessing my vision was unexpected, <clears throat> but not at all unpleasant. Caden was a little concerned about the connection I shared with Liara. As commander, I knew either relationship had the potential to interfere with Oh the my mission. god, they actually I told Liara about how I felt. <laughs> Apparently she felt it too. Oh my gosh. But we agreed we wouldn't let it get in the way of our mission. Finding Saren. Poor Caden. Thanks to Liara's help, we had our next lead. Benezia. Saren had taken her to Novaria, where he'd enslaved the queen of a dangerous race of insect like creatures, the Rachni. He ordered Benezia to use the same technique Liara had used on me to extract okay. information from the Rachni Queen. The Queen's drones were everywhere, and they were not happy. We had to fight through hundreds of them to get to Benezia. By the time we arrived, Saren was gone, with the information. I tried to Thank reason you with Benezia, but Saren had indoctrinated her. 
It somehow acquired the ability to control people's actions and wills. Venezia wouldn't surrender. And Liara was forced to watch her mother die in her arms. Aww. And I was left with an angry, dangerous Rachni queen to deal with. She claimed her drones would do no harm if I released her. But the Rachni had terrorized the galaxy before. I couldn't do it. I wouldn't doom an entire species for past sins. And the queen was true to her word. She left and took her army of drones with her. With Saren's top lieutenant dead, he was quickly running out of time and places to hide. I tracked him down at his base on Vermeer, but we soon learned it was more than a base of operations. It was a breeding ground. Saren was breeding an army of Krogan. He'd found sex? a cure for the genophage. Did they have sex in there? on the Krogan to prevent them from breeding and taking over the galaxy. But the Krogan Saren was breeding were slaves, mindless beasts that obeyed that's Saren's that. will. I had to destroy the base and all its research. Rex disagreed. It's a Violently. Rex wanted the genophage cure for his people. Oh boy. I tried to convince him to help me destroy it, that these Krogan weren't real. But he wouldn't back down. Fortunately, Rex is smarter than he looks. He realized this wasn't the way to help his people, and that Saren was the real threat. Oh when gosh. we finally got to the center of the base, I realized just how close Saren was to completing his plan. He was already in communication with the Reapers. Sovereign, Saren's flagship we'd all assumed was just a ship, was a Reaper. It spoke to me, threatened me. I could feel the menace it had for every living thing. It looks really it sexy, doesn't it? It wanted us all dead. And I knew Look it was it. capable of doing just that. What I couldn't understand was why Saren would help it. It, it gave me but chills there was no when time to think about he was speaking. It. Sovereign knew where we were. I we had to destroy the base and get the hell out. I split my team into two squads, sending Ash with one and Caden with the other as a Look at Caden! We had Damn. a nuke and we planned to use it. Before we could detonate the bomb, Saren showed up. We fought. I stalled him to make time for my team. Yes. And in talking to him, I realized the truth. It wasn't Saren who was indoctrinating everyone. It was Sovereign, the Reaper. And Saren was in deeper than all of them. He tried to convince me he was still in control. Said he'd found a way to reduce the Reaper's influence. But he was kidding himself. Or believing the lies Sovereign was telling him. Before I could convince him to stop, he ran. Leaving me just seconds to extract my squad mates. I tried. Oh, but I wasn't shit. fast enough. This was I could only save one of them. Ash was a good friend. And a great soldier. But I had to choose. And I chose Caden. That was the last time Saren would slip away from me. I knew then, the next time we met, one of us would die. With my team mostly intact, we chased Saren and his army to Ilos, a long lost planet that had once belonged to the Protheans. As we prepared for what we knew would be a desperate fight, I spoke to my crew. We were just one ship against Saren's growing army. I assured them all that despite the odds, we could defeat him. But Liara saw through my words. She knew I was hurting after Ash's death. Oh. She could sense my doubts. Oh. We both knew this mission could be our last. And, and then we moment, had we sex. We our feelings aside for the sake of the mission. But why wait? We gave in to each other. <laughs> and it was perfect. <laughs> While it lasted. We arrived on Ilos close behind Saren. Once on the planet, we discovered a Prothean databank that helped me put the final pieces of my vision together. The Reapers had come 50,000 years ago, and every 50,000 years before that, each time purging the galaxy of life. The Protheans had fought and died like every species before them, but a few survived long enough to leave a parting gift. The Protheans had discovered that the Citadel was the key to controlling the mass relays, by sabotaging the Citadel, they found a way to close the relays to dark space. Slowing the Reapers' return, giving us the time we needed to find a solution to stop the Reapers oh once boy. and for all. Saren knew this. He was leading his army to take control of the Citadel and re-establish the relays to dark space. Bringing the waiting Reapers here to destroy us all. We followed him to the Citadel. It was intact, but heavily damaged. He had caught the Council fleets by surprise, and they were only now regrouping. 
And with Sovereign as his flagship, there was little hope that the fleets could counterattack with enough strength to take back the Citadel. But Saren was done running, and I was done chasing him. As the Alliance and Council fleets battled Saren's army outside the Citadel, I cornered the Turian bastard in the Citadel Tower and confronted him. He died believing that the Reapers would save him. As I fought to regain control of the Citadel, the Council's flagship, the Destiny Ascension, fell under attack. Despite Saren's death, Sovereign and Saren's so army continued to fight. The Council was aboard the Destiny Ascension and they were requesting assistance. But I knew in order to help them, I would have to put our Human Alliance fleet in jeopardy. The Council had to be saved. They represented the hearts and minds of the Galactic Community. Without them, the fleets would be in disarray. Even with the Citadel back in my control, Saren defeated and the Normandy leading the combined Galactic fleet. The battle against Sovereign, a single Reaper, was relentless. It took the combined fleets of humanity and the other races, but in the end, Sovereign fell. Yeah. But the costs were immense. While humanity's efforts in the war earned us our first seat on the Council, it was a hollow victory. The Reapers were still out there. Oh, the song. I knew the fight was far from over, but as the one who'd led the fight against Saren, I was given new responsibilities. The choice of humanity's first counselor was left to me to decide. No, Shwanky. On the one hand, Udina, the lifetime politician, ruthless and ambitious. He would easily navigate the political landmines that would serve Yeah, this isn't the, the game. Him. This is all our choices. The other choice, Captain Anderson, the career soldier. Tough but fair, but a friend and someone I could trust. Both great leaders in their own right. Anderson didn't want the job, which was a sure sign he'd be perfect for it. No ambition to get in the way. The war was over. The threat had passed. In time, the Council would rebuild itself. The Citadel could be repaired. Even the pain of lost friends would Anderson fade. Was but none of that mattered if the Reapers were still out there. And if they were all as powerful as Sovereign, we had to find a way to stop them. I had to find a way. I gathered my crew, took my ship, and went in search of answers. Officially, the Council would only say I was assigned cleanup duty. Huh. Routing out any remnants of Saren's army. Okay. Just another routine mission. And then we died. Praise be the bunny of the Lord, Lord and Savior of the Flux. Thank you so May much for the 42 gift subs. Commander Shepard has been recovered. Thank you. The Lazarus Project will proceed as planned. Thank you. Thank you, Bob. Wait. That's so creepy. That's like inside of a vein. That's so cool. Oh shit. Our heart looked awful. Die, did we? Oh, yeah, we'll go with us. High five. <laughs> oh, wait. So they found us in space. I, I, it doesn't sound like we died. What do we go with? Oh man, that was so nice. Oh, that was so cool. 
Ah, oh, that was so cool. Thank you again, Bob. Thank you. Hi, Mango. Hi. Hi, Raven. Hi. Uh, that comic was a it was more than just a comic for somebody that didn't replay the first game it had all the choices that we made i i know i'm kind of in the way it's it's okay so soldier infiltrator vanguard thank you so much Mwah! thank you Rejun. i i have to open some packages we'll open in a second Listen, do we go as soldier? What do you guys say? I don't know. Oh, heck. The reason why I didn't use... Uh, um, the reason why I didn't use the skills in the other game is because they didn't feel nice. Do they feel nicer to use in this game? Sentinel is like a sniper. <clears throat> Much better. I don't know, you guys. I listened to you guys in the first time and it was so bad. Mm. Sentinel is not sniper. Infiltrator. Or soldier. And that burger, I'm talking about just now. I don't remember anything from before. I don't remember what happened before. Like, just now, you guys convinced me to play as Vanguard in the first Mass Effect, and it was awful. <laughs> it was a hell! Okay, fine. I'll give it a go. Vanguard is very good. Vanguard is only fun in Mass Effect 3. Not, no. Your weapon restricted in Mass Effect 2? Wait, am I? Okay, how can I use a sniper and uh Oh shit, and a shotgun. Soldier gets all the weapons? Yeah, we got a soldier. Jen, the reason why I didn't use powers in Mass Effect 1 is because they didn't feel fun to use. They felt like delayed and weird. Your achievements give you access. What is this? How do you give me a list of things to pick when I don't know what this means? No, I'm click. No, no! Barrier? Bath shields? Gaff shields? Oh my god. Oh, I don't know what to do. What's the difference between barrier and gaff shield boost? Gaff shield looks nice. Warp ammo. I know, right? There's like nothing. I don't know. I don't know. It's better. 
And there's way too many people saying conflicting things in chat. Where's the staff? Gaff should give some weapon damage at max level. Okay, Gaff shield because I'm going to get the Gaff shield because the Gaff is telling me to get it. Armor PC? No, no, no. Okay. That sounds like us. Accept? You guys ready? Okay, Harris, thank you. In Mass Effect 3, you're not weapon restriction and the powers will feel really good. Oh my god. Uh, there is a war happening, chat! <sighs> Let's go! Oh, fuck. I gotta live with my decisions. That's the matter. Hey, Mira, how are you doing? That's the matter. You guys ready? Panic. Powers for life. You guys. We go. We're not going back. Let's go. Something's wrong. She's reacting to outside stimuli, showing an awareness of her surroundings. Uh-oh. Oh my god, Miranda. I think she's waking up. Hafev! <laughs> Damn it, Wilson. She's not ready yet. Give her the sedative. Oh, Shepard, shit. Don't try to move. Just lie still. Try to stay calm. Heart rate's still climbing. Brain activity is off the charts. So you're smart? That's pushing into the red zone. It's not working. Oh, panic. Who? No. What ass? Did you guys see that ass? Heart rate dropping. Stats falling back into normal. No range. wonder my heart was so high. Too close. We almost lost her. I told you your estimates were off. Run the numbers again. Oh my god. <gasps> hey, Unconquered. How are you doing? Wake up, Commander. Holy shit! Shepard, do you hear me? Get out of that bed now. This facility is under attack. What? Shepard, your scars aren't healed, but I need you to get moving. This facility is under attack. There's a pistol in the locker on the other side of the room. Hurry. Oh, panic! Grab the pistol and armor from the locker. You don't have time to panic. Work, Shepard. Grab your weapon. Yeah, yeah, yeah! Shit! It doesn't have a thermal clip. It's a med bay. We'll get you a clip from. Damn it! Those canisters by the door are going to blow. Oh, get me ah! Shield yourself from the blast. Repair bill for Commander Shepard. Petri dish Shepard is best Shepard. <laughs> Holy shit! Trying to kill you. Look for a thermal Panic! Thank you so much for the 10,000 bitties! Chris, thank you so much for the 100 bitties in region. What the fuck is going on? Oh, oh, here, here, reload. Okay. Looks like they set up a barricade to try holding the mechs Oh my god. Oh. Look out. Wait, where? Oh, panic. Oh, the sensitivity. Wait. Oh, keep moving. We need to get to the oh my god. I need to fix this. Okay, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Thank you so much. Mwah. Repair bill for Commander Shepard. Sh Commander Shepard is gonna spend that money on blackjack and hookers. H uh, how is it possible that she just woke up from... Wait, how long were we passed out? From out this and... 
Yes. Riven. Yes. I do. Shepard, security mechs are closing in on your position. Take cover. Okay. This is bad. This is bad. It's too... This is so bad. Oh my god. No. Hold on. Okay, this is much better. Holy panic. Okay. Wait. Am I dying? Yes. Hold on. Are those... Are those... Machines? Nice work, Shepard. Coast is clear. High five! I just don't understand. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's fine, it's fine. Oh my god. Don't waste time. I can't keep the mix distracted for long. Okay. More reinforcements heading your way. Ooh! Here come the mix. Oh, frick! Oh, shit! This game looks so much better! Wait! Hurry, get to the door. Run. Wait, Mango! I need to open the package! It's okay! Holy panic! Me. This is fine! This is fine! Oh! Is this how robots have sex? The cost of this project is astronomical. Over four billion credits so far. Four billion credits? Care that we've gone over budget. I don't know where the boss gets all his money. Maybe oh, shit. it's better not to know. I just wish he'd kick a little more in my direction once in a while. <laughs> Wait. How do you get so much? Progress is slow. Okay. The subject shows signs of recovery. Major organs are again functional and there are signs of rudimentary neurological activity. In an effort to accelerate the process, we've moved from simple organic reconstruction of the subject to biosynthetic fusion. Initial results show promise. So we became like a lab rat? The cost of this project is okay, we, we read this one. So far, How? How? Progress. Who are you? Are you with Miranda? Yeah, sorry. I forgot this is all new to you, Jacob. Right now. I'm Jacob Taylor. I've been stationed here for hostiles detected. Damn it! <laughs> the turn of Things must be worse than I thought if Miranda's got you running around. I'll fill you in, but we better get you to the shuttle first. Why did it? I know this isn't the best time, but I'm sick of stumbling around when I don't know what's going on. Fair enough. I'll give you the quick version. 
You and your ship were attacked and destroyed. You were killed. Dead as dead can be when they brought what? you What? Our scientists spent the last two years putting you back together. You've two been years? Or worse, that whole time. Welcome back to your life. Wait, two years? That's a... I'm having trouble wrapping my head around this. Two fucking years. Yeah, I can imagine. The Alliance officially declared you killed in action. The whole galaxy thinks you're dead. And if we don't get to those shuttles, they'll be right. Holy shit. Were there any other survivors from the Normandy? I'll tell you what. You help me finish off these mechs, and I'll play 20 questions with you all day. We're low on thermal clips, but I'm a biotic. Just give the order when you want me to hit him with the good stuff. Oh, shit. Thank you. Oh, my God. Oh, him. Oh, here. Oh, I have to aim. Oh, okay. You're falling back. Okay. Okay. Have I? I promised I'd answer your questions. What do, do we have know? time? You said they spent two years rebuilding me. How bad were my injuries? I'm no doctor, but it was bad. <laughs> when I first saw it was you, bad. you were but meat and tubes. Anywhere else, they'd have put you in a coffin. But oh Project my God. Lazarus was different. Cutting edge technology. Can you tell me about the project? Were there other test subjects? Project Lazarus only had one subject. The whole point was to bring you back. Just you. Even that was a challenge. Two years. All the top scientists. The best technology money could buy. I don't know if that's how it works. What do you mean, cloning? Cybernetics? I don't know the details. You'd have to ask the scientists. I got the fed. But I'm pretty sure you're not a clone. Wait, can you guys hear they that? They to bring you back exactly as you My were. My friend? You're still you. Thank you again, you're very you very What the hell? Bits and pieces now. Estra? Do you know anything about this attack? Who's behind it? What they're after? Damn if I know. I was getting ready for some shut-eye. Then BAM! Bunch of explosions. Next thing I know, every damn mech in the place starts shooting at us. I'm guessing it yeah. had to be an inside job. You'd need top security access to hack all the mechs. Oh, so those of you should be there, sh shit. The last thing I remember is the Normandy blowing up. Did anyone else make it? Just about everybody survived. A few servicemen from the Above. lower didn't get out. Navigator Presley was killed by an explosion. Oh. Everyone else, including the non-alliance crew, the Asari, Liara, and the Quarian, they all made it out alive. Okay. So, so Tali is alive, and Liara is alive, and... The racist dude died. What's your job here? Depends on who you ask. <laughs> Technically, I'm Miranda's top lieutenant, but I'm just a soldier. I served five minutes before this. Now I'm in charge of the station's security. Usually a lot more dull than this. Normally I don't fire my gun unless it's target practice. <laughs> so he's bad, is what he's saying. When I first woke up, someone named Miranda was talking to me over the radio. We lost contact just before I ran into you. How did she Miranda Lawson is wake the station's up? ranking officer. She led the Lazarus team. It was her job to bring you back to life, no matter what. Should have guessed she'd try to save you. She's not about to give up on you now. You said you lost contact. Could you tell what was happening? Uh, there was some gunfire and an explosion right before I lost her. She knows how to take care of herself. But I hope she's okay. Oh, Penny. What's the quickest way to those shuttles? Depends where the mechs are thickest. It's probably best if we check. Yeah. That's, that's where it's thickest. Hello? Wilson. This is Jacob. I'm here with Commander Shepard. Oh Just took God. out a wave of mechs over in D-Wing. Shepard's alive? How the hell? Never mind. You need to get her out of there. Oh, get God. The service tunnels and head for the network control room. Roger that, Wilson. Stay on this frequency. Wait, Wilson? Like the... the little ball? I think I remember a Wilson checking on me one time when I woke up. That's him. 
He's the chief medical tech. Answers oh. directly to Miranda. Come on, the service tunnels are this way. Okay, how do I reload? Okay. Wait, he says this way, but then he crouches? Holy panic. Sensors activated. You guys doing okay? Damn it, Wilson. This room is crawling with mechs. The whole station is crawling with mechs. I'm doing the best I can. Why did they have so Task much... Casualty. So many androids and no antivirus? Is it, isn't that stupid? This game actually Just looks so good. The control room. Oh, God. They found me. Help. Wilson, where are you? Oh. Server room B. Oh my god. Up those stairs, Shepard. Oh my god. Can we save him? B, 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 B. Shepard, down here. Hey. Bastards got me in the leg. Oh. You were there the first time I regained consciousness. Yeah. That was me. What? How about we talk about this after we fix my leg? Should be some metagel in the first aid station on the wall. Hopefully, there's enough to get him up and moving. He seems like an asshole. Grab the metagel from the first aid station on the wall. But maybe he's just hurt. Oh. Oh. Where's metagel? Oh, Unity. Wilson's. High five! Can you let him die here? Thanks, Shepard. <clears throat> Never thought you'd save my life. Guess that makes us even now. Oh, I see. I thought maybe I could shut down the security mechs. But whoever did this fried the whole system. Completely irreversible. Holy we didn't ask shit. what you were doing. Why do you even have security mech clearance? You were in the bio wing. Weren't you listening? I came here to try and fix this. Besides, I was shot. How do you explain that? Wait, what? Panic. 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 This guy doesn't seem nice. You're all strangers to me. Let's get someplace safe and then we'll sort out whose fault it is. Right, Shepard. We need to find Miranda. We can't leave her behind. Forget about Miranda. She was over in D-Wing. The mechs were all over that sector. There's no way she survived. A bunch of mechs won't drop what Miranda. The She's alive. Asshole. Then where is she? Why haven't we heard from her? There are only two possible explanations. He wants her to She's die? She's dead, or she's a traitor. What? Wait. Why is he trying to convince us of that? Then why did she wake me up and warn me about the attack? Okay, maybe she's not a traitor, but that doesn't change the facts. We're here. Is this Satchus? We need to save ourselves. The shuttle bay is only a few. Please get shot and die. We can overload the canisters to clear a path to the shuttle. This guy's. Sorry. These mechs don't know when to quit. This is fine. Ah! This is fine. Okay, how fast? This way to the shuttles is Hey Argus, hi. Okay. Wait. Oh. High five! That's it. Let's get out of here. Okay, we took him down. But this is getting tense. Shepard, if I tell you who we work for, will you trust me? This really isn't the time, Jacob. We won't make it if she's expecting a shot in the back. If you want to piss off the boss, it's your ass, Jacob. Oh, boy. The Lazarus Project. The program that rebuilt you. It's funded and controlled by Cerberus. Those guys were trying to breed the... Arachne, right? I think I ran into Cerberus a few times while I was investigating Saren. Some kind of pro-human splinter group, right? Well, that's what the Alliance wants people to believe. 
Okay, There's more so... to it. The Alliance declared you dead. They gave up. Cerberus spent a fortune to bring you back. Look, I'd be suspicious too. But right now we have Wait, together. what's happening? I thought you deserved to know what's what. Once we're off the station, I'll like take Jake you to Cabin. the elusive man. He'll explain everything. I promise. Elusive man. Is he in charge of all this? Yeah. That's not his real name, of course. <laughs> Nobody knows who he really is. It was a code name the Alliance used for him. Kind of stuck. Huh. Wait, wh what's not of your liking? Well, if I won't get any more answers here, let's get moving. What's the it's glitch much here? To the shuttle bay. I'm curious. Oh, panic. Oh, panic. Does this game have the same thing that I have to stick to only one of the choices? Or I'm going to be fucked? It's okay, it's okay, it's okay, you guys! Wait, did they really nerf her booty? Her hands look so nice! Could she walk before? Yeah, Trisha. Oh, panic. Hold on. Can I overload that? Those guys? No. Yeah, we need to get closer. Wait. Do we? Oh, the objective is the other side. But can we find out anything here? Are we in the time limit? Test subject has been recovered, oh. but the damage is far worse than we initially feared. In addition to the expected burns and internal injuries from the explosion, subject has suffered significant cellular breakdown due to long-term exposure to vacuum and sub-zero temperatures. Despite the extent of the physical trauma, Wilson assures me subject is salvageable. The lab has processed. Wilson. Salvageable? They consider that I am salvageable? Isn't that kind of fucked? Come on, through here. We're almost at the. I know. Miranda. <gasps> But you were <gasps> dead. Oh, panic! What the hell are you doing? What My the job. fuck? Wilson betrayed us all. Even if you're sure, did he deserve that welcome? He sabotaged the security systems, killed my staff, and he would have killed us. You sure oh about God. that, Miranda? We've known Wilson for years. What if you're wrong? I'm never wrong. <laughs> I thought you'd have learned that by now, Jacob. Oh my God. Did she, did she get the stick up her ass from Udina? Did they share the same stick? They definitely do not share the same ass. Have you guys ever tried looking at Udina's ass? She cocky. Alex, kid, I am so sorry, but Ashley is dead. You should have taken him alive. See what he knew. Too risky. I've put too much time and effort bringing you back to life to let you get killed oh now. God. You really think Wilson's capable of that? Not anymore. <laughs> okay, I like her. Okay. That was good. 
you say so. What's our next step? We get on the shuttle and go. My boss wants to speak to you. You mean the elusive <laughs> man? <laughs> I know you work for Cerberus. Ah, Jacob. I should have known your conscience would get the better of you. Lying to the commander isn't the way to get her to join our cause. Oh well, since God. we're getting everything out in the open, is there anything else you want to ask before we go, Commander? Are you single? Convenient that you show up as we're leaving. Where were you during the attack? Besides trying to save your life? Wilson <laughs> figured out I was helping you and he sent an army of mechs to take me out. I got oh here as soon God. as I could. Probably a little too soon if you ask Wilson. What about the rest of the people on the station? This is the evac area. If they're not here now, they're not coming. Okay. We can't leave without knowing for sure. We need to go back and look. Don't you get it? The only one worth saving is you. Everyone else is expendable. She's right. We all knew the risks when we signed up. Without you, there's no point to any of this. Hey, you're the main player character. Let's go. Where are we going? Another Cerberus <laughs> facility. The elusive man is waiting for you there. Uh. Oh, panic. I'm not sure I trust you. This is the only shuttle off the station. You want to stay and rot with the mechs? Be my guest. Oh, panic. I was looking for my outfit that looks like from Mass Effect to start this, but I couldn't find it. I found the pants, I couldn't find the top. You're the Lazarus Project's director, aren't you? That's right. I put two years of my life into this project. Into you. Why? What does Cerberus want from me? Maybe you should ask the elusive man when you meet him. He poured virtually unlimited resources into Lazarus. Obviously, he has some kind of plan for you. Oh boy. Sounds like my parents. Let's go. I've had enough of this station to last a lifetime. Or two, in your case. Come on. Have that! Yeah, Harry's, I mean. Huh. Before you meet with the elusive man, we need to ask a few questions to evaluate your condition. Come on, Miranda, more tests? Shepard took down those mechs without any trouble. That has to be good enough. It's been two years since the attack. The elusive man needs to know that Shepard's personality and memories are intact. Oh, Ben. Ask the questions. We already know two years. Did you say two years? I've been gone that long? Two years and 12 days. And you were on an operating table for most of it. The Ooh. sooner we start, the sooner we can be done. Start with personal history. Okay. Records show you grew up on Earth. Tough environment, no parents. You enlisted and won a medal fighting Batarians during the Skillian Blitz. Do you remember that? That's crazy. Imagine if you disappeared two years from your life. And then you came back. How much things would have changed? That sounds like it. It would... Be a whole new life at that point. A lot of lives depended on me holding that position. I did what I had to. However you want to put it, it was damn impressive. Uh. I had friends who were there. Satisfied, Miranda? Almost. Let's try something more recent. Vermeer, where you destroyed Saren's cloning facility, you had to leave one of your squad behind to die in the blast. Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams was killed in action. It was your call. Why did you leave her behind? Because she was racist. Um, uh, because... I was fucking Caden. Oh, because... Because I had reading comprehension issues and I messed up the, the choice. Because... Fuck you. I left a friend to die that day and I didn't do it casually. But I had to save as many people as I could. Ash gave her life for the rest of the team. Without her, I couldn't have stopped Saren. She died a hero. 
I understand, Commander. And I wasn't judging your decision. Everybody at Cerberus knows that cloning facility had to be destroyed. There are other tests we really should run. Come on, Miranda. Enough with the quizzes. I'm having fun with the tests. Memories are there, and I can vouch for Shepard's combat skills personally. I suppose you're right. We'll have to hope the elusive man accepts our little field test as evidence enough. Uh, if you guys go to the beginning of yesterday's stream, you can see Liara's ass. If you, if that's what you're wondering about. You're welcome. The elusive man is waiting for you in the other room. I wouldn't keep the elusive man waiting. The elusive man, my ass. The elusive man is waiting for you in the other room. Does he have an elusive ass too? What does that mean? Ooh. I don't get to change her hair, do I? I wish her hair was darker. I know, right, Alex? Ooh, I like this. Ooh, oh my god, this is so cool! Ah, oh, heck. This is so cool. I wish I had an armor like this. Okay. That's casual appearance. Ooh. Cool. Look at the commander so ass. Many BDs. For all the booty that was had over the week. <laughs> oh heck, Mingo, thank you so much for the 5,000 BDs. Thank you. Oh heck, thank you. I'm sorry, you guys. The beginning of the game was, has been, is being a little bit overwhelming. And, and, and my day was also a little bit overwhelming. So, so I'm kind of like a lot overwhelmed. So, so if you excuse me, I just need a moment to look at ass. And thank you so much, Mango. Thank you. Yeah, no, the ass is too good. I said we go with the hoodie. Nah, we go with the nice ass. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much. You're at the end. Nice, 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 nice. Uh, I have a few packages to open, but uh, let's talk with the elusive men first. Of course, Dronfo. What do you expect from me? Commander Shepard. Elusive man. I thought we'd be meeting face to face. Unnecessary precaution. Not unusual for people who know what you and I know. He's hot. Can we fuck him? What exactly is it that you and I know? that our place in the universe is more fragile than we'd like to think. He has nice that eyes. That one woman, one Wait. very specific woman, might be all that stands Mr. Blue eyes? and the greatest threat of our brief existence. The Reapers. Good to see your memory still intact. How are you feeling? Huh. Okay, so... Uh... He really reminds me of... Uh, Mr. Blue Eyes from Cyberpunk. Do you think it's a reference to him? I find that the Paragon option is like so... 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 Eh. Yeah, childish, exactly. 
You and Mom are friends. We didn't go to the same school. You know? Uh, what question was I saying? Oh, Mr. Blue Eyes is an NPC, a uh, very mysterious NPC in Cyberpunk 2077. And he has the same eyes as him. He really reminds me of him. Cut to the chase. What are the Reapers doing that made you decide to bring me back? Oh, I We're see. We're at war. No one wants to admit it, but humanity is under attack. While you've been sleeping, entire colonies have been disappearing. Human what? colonies. We believe it's someone working for the Reapers, just as Saren and Ageth aided Sovereign. You oh, see yourself. Shit. You bested all of them. That's just one reason we chose you. Fighting a war doesn't seem like Cerberus. Why are you involved? We're committed to the advancement and preservation of humanity. If the Reapers are targeting us, trying to wipe us out, Cerberus will stop them. If we wait for politicians or the Alliance to act, no more human colonies will be left. Sovereign was trying to harvest all life in the galaxy. Why would the Reapers target a few human colonies? Hundreds of thousands of colonists have vanished. I'd say that fits the definition of harvesting. Nobody's paying attention because it's random, and the attacks occur in remote locations. I don't know why they've suddenly oh targeted humanity. Maybe you got their attention when you killed one of them. Oh, shit. Sovereign was trying to harvest all life in the galaxy. Why would the Reapers target a few human colonies? Hundreds of thousands of colonists have vanished. I'd say that fits the definition of harvesting. Nobody's paying attention because it's random. And the attacks occur in remote locations. Another so reapers are racist. I don't racist. know why they've suddenly targeted humanity. Maybe you got their attention when you killed one of them. Okay. You could have trained an entire army for what you spent to bring me back. You're unique, not just in ability or what you've experienced, but in what you represent. You stood for humanity at a key moment. You're more than a soldier. You're a symbol. And I don't know if the reapers understand fear, but you killed one. They have to respect that. Hmm. With machines? Why, why would I not believe what he's saying? That's what I don't understand. I'm, I'm only alive thanks to this man. If what you say is true, if the Reapers mm -hmm. are behind this, I'd consider helping you. I'd be disappointed if you accepted any of this without seeing for yourself. I have a shuttle ready to take you to Freedom's Progress, the latest colony to be abducted. Miranda and Jacob will brief you. The, the, the thing about everything that he said is that it makes sense with the information we have so far, right? Yeah, I know, I know, but still, uh, we're not talking about the experiments with Cerberus or anything like this. Yeah, I, I don't know, Tamakuru. That's the thing. I, I find that. Uh, hmm. Miranda killed Wilson in cold blood. Jacob's just a gun for hire. You expect me to trust them? Wilson was one of my best agents, but he was a traitor. Miranda did exactly what I expected of her, and she saved your life in more ways than one. Jacob's a soldier, one of the best. He's never fully trusted me, but he's always been honest about it. 
You'll be just fine with them. For now. I don't know, you guys. I I find it hard to respect somebody that keep people, like he like Jacob, that he stayed around. Like for example, he said that Jacob has never trusted him, but he has been upfront, and he yet he didn't shoot Jacob. In fact, he's trusting Jacob with us. And even though Cerberus is a corporation that so many people has done bad things, like so far that they say that that lab that we broke in Mass Effect 1 was definitely a problem with them. So all I'm saying is maybe with Finn, Cerberus, there could be people worth talking with. And sometimes... Just because somebody's the leader doesn't mean that he, he's exactly responsible for a bunch of the bad stuff that goes on. Yeah, but that's the thing, Darius. Given the circumstance that everyone was depending on one another to survive, and Jacob even broke protocol to tell me that they were that that they had a back name, that bad name, it, it just make, makes me think about it, you know? Because... The leader is always responsible. I mean... Sometimes there are things that go out of your control. Oh boy. But this is a bunny stream, so the bunny is not here. Oh, really, Lucifer? That, that's nice. <clears throat> What do you think I'll find there? If I knew that, I wouldn't need to send you. Find any clues He's you can. Not Who's abducting room. the colonies? Do they have any connection to the Reapers? I brought you back. It's up to you to do the rest. Huh. <sighs> Are we even getting paid? Oh, panic. Why he can do stuff too? I I understand best username I could think of, but my entire point is that nothing's truly evil and nothing's truly good. And I find that it was nice that the evil man keep somebody that he knows that has expressed it that doesn't like them near him because he still admires his competence and his work and there's a lot of good people that consider themselves good that wouldn't do the same the elusive man is very impressed with you i'm eager to see if you can live up to his expectations on this mission huh This sounds so cocky. Just remember who's in charge. Yeah, buddy, exactly. I never got a chance to say how much I appreciated what the Lazarus Project did for me. I just hope it was worth it. <laughs> a lot of people lost their lives on that station. Oh boy. I, I feel... We have to work together here. Your attitude isn't helping anything. I have the utmost respect for your abilities, Shepard. It's your motivations that concern me. What? I believe in what Cerberus stands for. 
Only time will tell if you prove to be an asset or a liability to our cause. Oh, panic. So, are you single? Tell me a little about yourself. Worried about my qualifications? I can crush a man no, with no. antibiotics or shoot I just head wanted you to know yards. if you're single, woman. Take your pick. I was trying to get to know you as a human being. I'm not looking for a friend, Shepard. Stay focused oh. on the mission. <laughs> okay, I guess she's not single. Maybe she is, she's just not interested. <laughs> I'd like to know more about the Lazarus Project from the person uh, in charge. I wasn't in charge. The elusive man was. If I was running the show, we'd have done a few things differently. Okay, like what? What would you have changed? To start, I would have implanted you with some type of control chip. But the elusive man wouldn't allow <gasps> it. He was afraid it might affect your personality, alter your character somehow. He wouldn't let us do anything that might limit your potential in any way. Thank goodness you're not in charge, bitch. Sorry. No, oh, thank you. Can't say I like <laughs> the idea of being brought back to life with a control chip in my brain. The elusive man is taking an incredible risk with you. I just hope his gamble pays off. Oh my gosh. What can you tell me about Wait. this colony we're Freedom's going to? Progress? It's a typical human settlement in the Terminus systems. They had a small military force for protection supplemented by mechs and security drones. Average in almost every way, really. Completely unremarkable. Until the disappearance. Any thoughts on what we might run into there? A lot of empty buildings and one giant mystery. So... People are just like... Uh, getting what? Thanos... Uh, Thanos... Swipe? It's obvious you're not interested in talking. We've got an assignment. We can talk about it or we can do it. I'm glad the elusive man convinced uh... you to join us, Commander. I just want to find out what happened to those missing people. I still don't trust Cerberus. Noted. Do you trust me, Commander? Hmm. Hmm. Uh, this question rubs me off in the wrong way. Like, yeah, he, he did tell me that they were with Cerberus and he went out of his way for that. But at the same time, I feel like he's being... Pushy now? Does that make sense? And maybe he just did that so I would blindly trust him? I haven't made up my mind about you yet. At least you're giving me a chance. Most Alliance soldiers hate Cerberus on principle. Hmm. Do you know anything about this colony we're going to? It's called Freedom's Progress. Don't know much else. I guess we'll find out when we get there. It sure is right there. You said you served in the Alliance. Five years in total. Stationed all over the galaxy. Even spent a couple of years as a Corsair. What's a Corsair? I've never heard of the Corsairs. It was an Alliance initiative. They hired independent starship captains and used them for missions that fell outside official Alliance jurisdiction. Oh. Technically, we weren't part of the Alliance. If we ever got caught, they could disavow any knowledge of us. We were supposed to be free from restrictions and rules, but there was still enough red tape to sink a cruiser. Hmm. I finally just gave up. I guess I just got tired of never making a difference. So much of what we did in the Alliance seemed pointless. I thought things would change after the attack on the Citadel. Humanity was finally invited to join the Council, but nothing changed. Politics, bureaucracy, same bullshit, different leaders. Cerberus is different. When colonies go missing, we don't commission a team to write a report to figure out what the hell to do about it. We just go and find out. Okay, that's nice. That's all for now. Friend? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Hey, I want to be a space pirate too. Oh! Above! Okay.
Okay. We should be there shortly, Shepard. The elusive man put us under your command. Do you have any orders? What did you find at the other colonies? Nothing. No signs of attack, no corpses, not even a trace of unusual genetic material to give us a clue. We just disappear. And we've got no target to go after. Hmm. Are you sure you'll be comfortable following my orders? We didn't bring you back from the dead just to second guess you, Commander. If the elusive man says you're in charge, you're in charge. I like Jacob. <laughs> what makes you think this investigation will turn up anything new? At other colonies, official investigators got there first. Sometimes looters or salvage teams as well. We're hoping to be the first ones there this time. Oh. Maybe find clues before somebody else disturbs the scene. Our first priority is to look for survivors. That's unlikely, Commander. No one was left at the other colonies. They were completely deserted. Be nice to find somebody. Anything's better than another ghost town. <laughs> there he is. What if it disappeared too? Looks like everyone just got up and left right in the middle of dinner. Ah, uh, fuck so. I assume so. Because this game looks so good. Strange. No bodies, no structural damage, and no signs of battle. So those people straight up just disappeared? Hey Mia, did you guys have a good day? I didn't have time to ask. We started the stream and then we went to... Uh... Hear that? It sounds like Fenris mechs. Strange. Security systems were disabled at the other colonies. Eyes ahead! Combat system. Panic! 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 Where did my health go? Before they take out the shield. Oh, it's a dog! <clears throat> Horses, oh, he's so cute! <laughs> oh. Here we go! Still coming? Critical system damage. Those mechs shouldn't have been hostile. Oh. They should have recognized them. Okay. This is human. Someone reprogrammed them to attack on site. We're not alone here. Oh boy. Oh really? Do you have Pringly? Oh, this is nice. The map design so far has been a lot better. Oh no. Panic. What is this? Oh, panic. Wait, what? How do I do this? What? I don't get this. Oh! Oh! Oh, it's like a memory game? Okay. Panic. Oh, this is bad. Okay, those shoe. Those shoe. Okay. High five! First try! 
I have no time to panic. Panic. Oh, really? That's so cool. Make activity. Oh boy. Firing. Oh. It. Dog! Go. Oh, there we go. they're so cute. Can I have one of these? Is the game too loud? First try. Stop right there! Fraza, you said you <gasps> let me handle this. Dolly! Wait. Shepard? I'm not <gasps> taking any chances with Cerberus <gasps> operators. My god! Put those weapons down! Dolly! Shepard, is that... You're alive? Oh my gosh! Remember when I gave you that Geth data tally? Oh, did Dolly. it help you complete your pilgrimage? Yes, it did. Fraza, uh... weapons down. This is definitely Commander Shepard. Why is your old commander working for Cerberus? I don't know. Maybe we should ask. <laughs> uh Um Panic. I just woke up from a two year long coma and and they're the reason why I woke up. I nearly died, Tally. Cerberus <laughs> spent two years rebuilding me. <laughs> it's right. They want me to investigate attacks on human colonies. Oh, Likely me. story. No organization would commit so many resources to bring back one soldier. You haven't seen Shepard in action, Praza. Trust me. It was money well spent. Perhaps we can work together. Above. We're here looking for a young quarian named Vitor. He was here on pilgrimage. Maybe... Maybe she will want to have sex with us this time? They probably had a funeral. Oh, man. Ah. Isn't that a little strange? A quarian visiting a remote human colony? Quarians can choose where they go on pilgrimage. Vitor liked the idea of helping a small settlement. He was always nervous in crowds. Oh. She means that he was unstable. Combine that with I the got better. CO2 scrubbers and an infection from an open air exposure, and he's likely delirious. When he saw us landing, he hid in a warehouse on the far side of town. We suspect he also programmed the mechs to attack anything that moved. Oh, panic. Vitor's the only one who can tell us what happened here. We should work together to find him. Good idea. You'll need two teams to get past the drones anyway. Now we're working uh, with Cerberus? No, Praza. You're working for me. If you can't follow orders, go wait on the ship. Who? Head for get the warehouse fucked. through the center of the colony. We'll circle around the far side and draw off some of the drones to clear you a path. Hell yeah. Your people really don't like Cerberus. What did I, I know. miss? They killed our people, infiltrated our flotilla, and tried to blow up one of Wait, our ships. Wait, what? That's not how I'd have explained it exactly. It was nothing personal. We can argue over who killed <laughs> who later. Right now, we've got a job to do. Agreed. We work together to get to Vitor. Make Victor. sure to keep in radio contact. Will do. Good luck, Shepard. Whatever happens, it's good to have you back. I know. She used to be... She used to be so... Insecure, and now she's so sexy. <laughs> you know what I mean, right? Be careful, Shepard. There's a squad of security up ahead. Thanks oh, for the warning. Panic. We'll take care of him. Sexy. We've been spotted. He was just oh, hiding? Ah! <clears throat> okay. Oh, panic. Oh, panic. Uh, I think there's a better way to do what I'm doing. I think it's this. Panic. I fucked up. So, if I fuck this up, I'm done for? Yeah... Use overload on him. Wait... 
Why don't you use overload on them? Oh. Yes. Yeah, aiming with a controller sucks. Holy panic. <laughs> Holy panic. Enemy down. Got him. This is fine. Shepard, Praza and his squad rushed on ahead. I told them to wait, but they wouldn't listen. They want to find Vitor and take him away before you get here. We should have expected this. Come on, we can still catch them. What is this insubordination? <laughs> Hold on. Oh, shield. Unless. This is fine. Perfect. There we go. Is the pew 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 too loud or is it good? There we go. Hey there Victor, go. how are you doing? We're actually trying to find you in game. They did want Am to get I timed? To first. Get your squad into cover and I'll open the loading bay doors. We'll take cover by the doors. Shepard, you take point. Okay, so... Taking cover! You go there. You go there. Going to ground! Okay. Take point, Shepard. We'll cover the door. Okay. Panic! Shields down! Oh boy. So this is basically what the armor cord will be. That mech's got heavy armor plating. Wait, Those who got shot? Never stood a chance. Oh, I feel this bad. This is gonna be one tough son of a bitch to take down. <laughs> Overlord will take out their shields. Okay. Thanks for backseating me. You lied. You're wrong. Panic! Uh, damn it. Oh. oh my god. Okay, shit is coming back. Come on. This is fine. This is fine. Yeah, using powers in this game feels a lot better. Ooh. That's it? High five. First try. Oh god, that was close. Does the game does this game has autosave? This looks interesting. Something being off screen doesn't mean it doesn't exist. Miranda just has the best uniform ever. This is the future of Boston Dynamics? Oh boy. I hope not. I really hope not. Wait, isn't this here? Here and yeah, have that great. I'm doing good. Understood. Affirmative. I'm doing really good, Gray. How do I crouch in this game? I can't panic. Yeah. Yeah. I'm doing great. You guys doing good? Yeah? I was just asking. It's unrelated. It has nothing to do with Miranda. 
There's a photo mode? Nice. Hmm. Yeah. Glad we're all doing great. Monsters coming back. Max will protect. Safe from swarms. Have to hide. No Aww. monsters. No swarms. Aww. No, 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 no. He's so cute. Vitor? No, Vitor. Not here. Swarms can't find. Monsters coming. Have to hide. There is. Do all Aquarians uh, sound so cute? He's adorable. Nobody's going to hurt you anymore. I don't think he can hear you, Commander. What? Is he... Have to hide. Have to hide. Max. You're human. Where did you hide? How come they didn't find you? Who didn't find us? The, the monsters, the swarms, they oh. took everyone. Oh my goodness. Why didn't the colonists fight back, Vitor? What happened? You don't know. You didn't see. But I see everything. Looks like security footage. He must have pasted it together manually. What the hell is that? Coffins? Oh my god. I think it's a collector. Oh, like a reaper? Lucifer, thank you so much for gifting a sub to Vitor. Oh, thank you. Oh, now Vitor can use the bunny emotes. I hope you enjoy the bunny, bunny emotes, Vitor. And you'll be less traumatized now. Is that some kind thank of you. alien? They're a species from somewhere beyond the Omega-4 relay. Only a few people have ever seen one in person. They oh. usually work through intermediaries, like slavers or hired mercenaries. Oh. They're involved with the Reapers somehow. It could explain what happened to the colonies. I cleared it. The Collectors have advanced technology. They could have a weapon that disables an entire settlement at once. Oh no. The Seeker swarms. No one can hide. The Seekers find you. Freeze you. Then the monsters take you away. How did they survive? Why didn't the Collectors take you? Swarms didn't find me. Monsters didn't know I was here. The Collectors aren't known for being careless. Maybe his Enviro suit kept him from showing up on their sensors. Oh, or shit. they were using technology specifically designed to detect humans. Only human colonies have been hit. Oh, shit. Tell me more about these swarms. Hey, boy. It's how they find Vice. you. Seeker clouds, machines like tiny insects. Good to see you. They go everywhere. Did you have a good day? They find you, then they sting you, freeze you. Sounds like oh, sorry, I already probes, asked maybe. that. Sorry, sorry. Find victims, then immobilize them with a stasis field or nerve toxin. I want to know more about the collectors. Nobody knows much. They're so rare, a lot of people don't even believe they exist. <laughs> like the Reapers. Why are they abducting human colonists? What are they after? Maybe the elusive man can figure it out. Uh, gosh. You guys are all about sucking the elusive, elusive man's dick. Does he also have an elusive penis? What does elusive even mean? Sorry. What <clears throat> happened next? Go on, Victor. The monsters took the people onto the ship, and then they left. The ship flew away. Oh. But they'll be back for me. No one escapes. I think that's probably all we're getting out of him, Commander. Aww. Why would we be rude to him? We appreciate what you told us. You were very helpful. We just met Holly. The monsters. The swarms. I recorded them with my Omni tool. Lots of readings. Electromagnetic. Dark energy. We need to get this data to the elusive man. Grab the quarry and call the shuttle to come. No! What? Vitor is injured. He needs treatment, not an interrogation. We won't hurt him. We just need to see if he knows anything else. He'll no. be returned unharmed. 
Your people yeah. tried to betray us once already. If we give him to you, we'll never get the intel we need. Praza was an idiot, and oh, he God. and his men paid for it. You're welcome to take Vitor's Omnitool data, but please, just let me take him. Of course. Well... His name means that he's a liar. But to be fair, that's the nickname uh, that his enemies gave him, right? I mean, it's not a hard decision because we can just invite Tali, right? You don't have to take Vitor and go. We could work together just like old times. I want to, but I can't. I've got a mission no. of my own. It's too important for me to abandon, even for you. When it's mm. over, and I'm still alive, we'll see what happens. Oh, man. It's like when you're into somebody and they say that they're already dating. And then they say, maybe later. I could be your mission, Tali. That sounds dangerous. What are you doing? I don't think Cerberus needs to hear about it. But it's in Geth space. That should tell you how important it is. Okay. Then Vitor goes with her. He's traumatized yep. and he needs medical care. Tally will give us the Omni tool data and take him to the flotilla. Understood, Commander. Thank you, Shepard. I'm yeah. glad you're still the one giving the orders. Of Good course. luck out there. If I find anything that can help you, I'll let you know. We're ready for pickup. Mm. This looks so cool. Good work on Freedom's progress. Uh -huh. The Quarians forwarded their findings from Vidor's debriefing. No new data, but it's a surprising olive branch given our history. You and I have different methods, but I can't argue with your results. You know this voice? How did you do this? Yeah, Tali is You ever great. think about playing nice once in a while? <laughs> Diplomacy is great when it works, but difficult when everyone already perceives you as a threat. But oh, more importantly, it's true. you confirm the collectors are behind the abductions. Why do I get the feeling you knew about them already? I had my suspicions, but I needed proof. The Collectors are enigmatic at best. They periodically travel to the Terminus systems, looking to gather seemingly unimportant items or specimens, usually in exchange for their technology. When their transactions are complete, they disappear as quickly as they arrived, back beyond the unmapped Omega-4 relay. Until now, we've had no evidence of direct aggression by the Collectors. They're elusive. Why is the Omega-4 relay unmapped? What do we know about it? Only that no ship passing through it has ever returned. Our best guess is that the relay reacts differently to collector vessels, allowing them safe passage. If they can manipulate relays, that's just further evidence of the connection with the Reapers. It's true, because the Reapers were the one that made the relays. Any ideas on why they've shifted their focus to humans? If they're agents for the Reapers, it could be any number of reasons. Obviously, humanity played a huge role in Sovereign's destruction. That might have been enough to draw their attention. What really concerns me is why they bother abducting the colonists. Once the humans are paralyzed, why not just kill them? What's the name of the... green, cute guys with little arms at the Citadel? Like, it has like four arms, like Ronnie the Witch. We even had a theory that Ronnie the Witch was a... Uh... Yeah! Ronnie the Witch is basically when Liara and a... An Azari and a Keeper have sex. And then Ronnie the Witch... Uh, Ronnie the Witch was born. And then they were like, well, that's a blow-up doll. 
Let's make sure that all offspring of Azari look exactly like Azari, just to avoid shit like this from happening. <clears throat> what are the collectors getting from these deals? The collectors aren't very forthcoming about their motives. Generally, they seek out species with rare genetic mutations or abnormalities. They mm. pay slavers and merc groups exorbitant sums to obtain these specimens, and then they leave. But they've never targeted a single species before, and the previous sample sizes were in the dozens, not the tens of thousands. <laughs> Best username. You're holding something back. How do you know the Reapers are involved? The patterns are there, buried in the data. The Consul and the Alliance <laughs> want to believe the Reaper threat died with Sovereign. You and I know better. I won't wait until the Reapers are on the march. We need to take the fight to them. Well. Excuse me, bitch. I already killed one Reaper. How many have you killed? Huh? Zero? Oh, then when you kill one, then we talk. Oh, wait. You brought me back to life. Never mind. I'm doing it. If this is a war, I'll need an army. Or a really good team. I've already compiled a list of soldiers, scientists, and mercenaries. You'll get dossiers on the best of them. Finding them and convincing them to work with you could be challenging, but you're a natural leader. I'll continue to track the collectors. When they make their next appearance, I'll notify you and your team. Be ready. Oh. Keep your list. I want people I trust. The ones who helped me stop Saren and the Geth. That was two years ago, Commander. Most of them have moved on, or their allegiances have changed. Really? What happened to Garrus? Where's Garrus Vicarian? The Turian disappeared a few months after you were declared dead. Oh no. Even we haven't been able to locate him. Oh damn. Oh no. What about Caden? Nah, we we'll... What about Rex? Rexy, the sexy. Oh man. Where's Erdnot Rex? He returned to Chichanka, and he hasn't gone off world in over a year. He's trying to unite the Krogan clans. Well, Tally, we just saw her. What about Tally? She already helped us on Freedom's Progress. That was unexpected. I need more intel before I'll commit to that. Where's Liara Tissoni? She's on Ilium. My sources say that she's working for the Shadow Broker. If so, she can't be trusted. Holy shit! Really? What the fuck? Where's Caden Alenko? He's still with the Alliance. Promoted, I believe. His file is surprisingly well classified. It's surprisingly because he's usually so boring and mundane that even the elusive man is wondering why would anyone bother hide this shit. Okay, I get it. They're not available. Hey, Pulley, how are you doing? Shepherd. You'll get who you need. I'm still a specter. Maybe I can get the council to help us out. If you think you can convince them, by all means. <laughs> Just remember, you've been gone a long time. Things have changed. Oof. You worry about the collectors. I'll make sure my team's ready. Good. Two things before you go. First, head to Omega and find Morden Solus. He's a brilliant Solarian scientist. Our intelligence suggests he may know how to counteract the collectors' paralyzing seeker swarms. The name is familiar. Is there any use of me sassing him? Yeah, her her voice is great. I haven't even started and you're telling me what to do? I'm giving you direction. What you do with it is up to you. I'm sure you'll make the right decision. All right. What's the other thing? I found a pilot I think you might like. I hear he's one of the best. Someone you can trust. <gasps> Joker! Hey, Commander. Just like old times, huh? 
I can't believe it's you, Joker. Look who's talking. Oh my I saw god! You get Got lucky with a lot of strings attached. Oh, he was okay. How'd you get here? It all fell apart without you, Commander. Everything you stirred up, the Council just wanted it gone. The team was broken up, record sealed, and I was grounded. No. The Alliance took away the one thing that mattered to me. Hell yeah, I joined Cerberus. You really trust the elusive man? Well, I don't trust anyone who makes more than I do. But they aren't <laughs> all bad. Saved your life. Let me fly. And there's this. They only told me last night. Commander. I guess we'll have to give her a name. Oh, he's back. <laughs> She's so sexy. She's the sexiest ship around! Sorry. The soundtrack of this game really gets to me. They really know how to... how to play with my feelings. Oh God. <laughs> Hello. Hello there. That's that's us. <laughs> Hello there. Shepherd? Oh, wow. Welcome aboard the new Normandy, Commander. Yeah, it's 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 Normandy I've but been bigger. Over the dossiers. I'd strongly recommend starting by acquiring Morden Solus, the Solarian professor on Omega. We know the collectors use some type of advanced technology to immobilize their victims. We'll need him to develop a countermeasure to protect us. Oh, panic. Ooh, look, look, look at that ass. You guys see? The right corner of the screen? Look at that. Look at those shadows. Ooh. And without that countermeasure, we'll be helpless if we ever run into the collectors. Acquiring Professor Solus seems like the most logical place to start. Who are you? I am the Normandy's artificial intelligence. The crew like to refer to me as Edie. Chat GPT? Helmsmen aren't happy when someone takes control of a ship away from them. Especially Joker. I do not helm the ship. Mr. Moreau's talents will not go to waste. During combat, I Chad operate the electronic warfare and cyber warfare suites. Beyond that, I cannot interface with the ship's systems. I observe and offer analysis and advice. Nothing more. Chat. Oh man, I'm so happy. I, I'm sorry, I'm happy. I did not mean just to the three of us plus Joker to fly this ship. The Normandy has a full crew. They're at their stations awaiting your orders. Final preparations for takeoff are complete, Commander. When you're ready to go, just pick a destination from the galaxy. Oh, map look at that ass! On course. Oh. Jacob and I should return to our posts. Come find us if you have any questions. Gosh, now it's hot and humid in this room. 
Uh, sorry. I should be paying attention. <laughs> Just these and keep looking. Yeah. You're looking too, Harris. Sorry, I was, I wasn't looking. Ah, oh, man. I sh sh yeah. It's okay. The Lucifer show has nothing in common with the comic. Isn't that a show with a really hot Lucifer? <laughs> Welcome aboard, Commander. I never watched the show, but I just know Lucifer is hot. <laughs> oh man. Oh hi. I'm Yeoman Kelly Chambers. I've been assigned as your administrative assistant. I'll manage your messages and help you monitor the crew. And I must we have say, a secretary. it's such an honor to work under you, Commander Shepard. Ah. I'm glad to have you on the team, Miss <laughs> Chambers. Please call me Kelly. Sure. Okay, Kelly. Anything else? Is the crew? Is there anything I should know? You have unread messages at your private terminal. Joker would like to speak to you on the bridge. Anything okay. else, Commander? Let's chat. Do you have a moment to talk? I always have time for you, Commander. <laughs> are you single? What are your responsibilities? I'll keep you notified of any messages or appointments you might have. If any of the crew has important business to discuss, I'll make sure you know. Is it out? Isn't that the type of task better suited for a VI? Yes, but being your yeoman is just my official role. Unofficially, I observe the crew. Ooh. Everyone knows how risky our mission is. Many of us may not be coming back. That's a lot of pressure. I have a degree in psychology. I'm good at sensing when people are overly taxed. Dude, how can you hate the elusive man when she literally brings you back from life, gives you a ship, gives you a woman with the... Gives you a woman with a very nice background history. Yeah, very nice. You make sure the crew's mental health is sound. <laughs> yes, I look for warning signs. I listen. It's not a full-time job, and it's most effective when done informally. Oh. Wow. That's nice and smart. We're lucky to have someone with your skills, Kelly. Thank you, Shepard. What else would you like to know? How do you feel about being assigned to the Normandy? I was handpicked by the elusive man to help fight the greatest threat known to humanity. Aww. How do I feel? Honored, He's so exhilarated, terrified. <gasps> mostly I feel encouraged. Under your leadership, we can't fail. Oh man. Damn. Commander Shepard is looking sexy. Hey, hi, how are you doing? She's Counselor Troy from Star Trek. Oh, wait, I know Star Trek. May the force be with you. Luke, I'm your father. Live long and prosper. Right? <clears throat> this organization has a dark reputation. Do you have any concerns working for them? <laughs> Not at all. Our methods can be harsh, but Cerberus has noble objectives. Thank you. We look out for human interests. <laughs> human technology, save human lives. They're good goals. Aww. It sounds like Cerberus wants to dominate all aliens and put humankind on top. Cerberus looks out for humanity, but that doesn't mean we hate aliens. Oh. My sister started a dog shelter, but she loved cats too. I love humanity. I also love the so Torian, Torian, Solarian, Hanar. That isn't in conflict with Cerberus ideals. Woman, you have been brainwashed. <laughs> Kelly, what the fuck? <laughs> Panic! 
what the fuck do I respond to that? <laughs> Dude, she's just scared. This woman just does not want to lose her job. She's basically behaving like somebody would naturally behave on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck she just doesn't want to lose her job <laughs> oh, you're very loving Ke Kelly that's a very positive <laughs> attitude what can I say I'm a people person anything else you'd like to talk about Listen, Kelly. Once I met an alien. His name was Rexy the Sexy. And if you compared him to a dog, you wouldn't be around to, to tell that story. I better go. Okay. <laughs> Maybe we'll talk later. Oh, man. Ah, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Mingo! No, no, no! Wait, are you going to go check out Rex? Rexy Sexy on on uh, uh, on on Bing? <laughs> on Bing? Hold on. Before you go, you guys, hold on. I got a few packages from people, and uh, and. <coughs> And I'm curious what they are. So I got this from Mango. I hope this helps save you some months at the airport when you need to carry everything back for, to France from Mango. What is this? Okay. What is this, Mango? Is this safe to show on stream? I I'm always worried to open the things I get from you guys. I don't know, I just don't trust you people. Okay. That's actually so funny. <laughs> I did not expect to get a bag of holding. <laughs> I do need a bag of holding. <laughs> I really need this. <laughs> not anything, everything. I could actually put all of you inside this bag and carry you in my back. Thank you. I love it. Thank you, Mango. Mm, I know. It's, it's great. It's great. Where's my mimic? I can even put a mimic chest here. You guys wanna see? You guys wanna see? Ah. Why can I not put a... <laughs> no, I'm not threatening a kidnapper. Okay, there is something else, hold on. Where's my mimic? Oh, I know where my mimic is. Okay, so... Your region gave me a mimic chest. Yum, yum, yum. And the bag of holding is so good, it even fits an entire mimic chest. Look at that. Thank you. Thank you. Ah. Okay. Hold on. There is another little thing I got. I don't know from who. Let's hope they wrote their name. Oh! There is no note, no name, 
Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, it's a little bunny. It's so cute. He's so happy. Okay, I I love it. I love it. Oh, of course I love it. It's a bunny. It's a bunny. Thank you. And I also have a letter. This is the last one. That we have to open. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. What is this? A wee bit of luck to you today. Oh! Tommy, thank you. This is from St. Patrick's Day. A card! Dude, what the fuck? Your handwriting is so good. Holy shit! Dude, what the fuck is wrong with you? It's so fancy! Wow. And it's so clean. Oh, thank you, Tommy. Holy shit. Hey, Tommy. Yeah, yeah, we'll go back. L look at this, you guys. Look how nice this is. It's really nice. Tommy... Can you teach me how to, to write so nicely? Thank you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Not a doctor, no. Thank you, Tommy. I'm sorry to arrive three months late. I know. It's so pretty. Okay, back to flirting. Thank you so much, Tommy, for the 100 biddies. We will have a nice... Oh, we talk with Joker? I would need 30 cards to write like that. I know, right? It's just like, it's perfect. There's like nothing wrong with this. Can you believe this, Commander? It's my baby. Better than new. It fits me like a glove. Oh. And leather seats. <laughs> Military may set the hardware standard, but on a first-gen frigate, they could care less if the seats breathe. Civilian oh. sector comfort by design. Oh. Reproduction is not intended to be perfect, Mr. Moreau. Seamless improvements were made. And there's the downside. I like the Normandy when she was beautiful and quiet. Now she's got this thing I don't want to talk about. It's like ship cancer. <laughs> ship cancer. <laughs> Man. You guys remember when internet had a lot less AI? AI is like internet cancer. <laughs> Holy shit. Remember when, you know, algorithms weren't trying to shove everything in your face and you would start just going down a, a YouTube rabbit roll, a hole and you would find random people singing happy birthday to, to, to random kids and then and then you would find a guy digging a hole in his backyard and then turns out that he was digging the wife that he had just murdered. Those are the good internet days. <laughs> nah, that yeah, <it> was good. <laughs> Wait, what? What? It's not the same, Joker. There's nothing here that was even part of the real Normandy. There's us. I have to take what I can get. The last two years sucked. How bad? See, even if an AI is spying Good evening, on us, legend. no way they'll invest this much just to screw us over. It's It'll true. It'll be better than the old days. Yeah, I hope so. I died. God, <laughs> such a downer. <laughs> okay, the dialogue is so great. What the fuck? <laughs> Edie, we've got venting from the number 16 lithium heat sink. <laughs> C 
Commander. So how's your cock doing? I mean, how are things in the cockpit? I assume everything's going well up here? I really want a chance to put the Normandy through her paces. I just have to trim up the drive output and it'll be like we never lost her. Safety standards advise against manipulating drive settings while engines are powered and in use, Mr. Moreau. Commander, can we shut this thing off? I don't need it in my day to day. Does it got mute? <laughs> Aww. I'm no fan either, but we're stuck with it. Until I find a soldering gun. It's gotta be some wires I can cross to make it hurt. No sabotage. Sabotage! Understood? Yeah, yeah, don't break the boss's toys. Sabotage! What do you think of the mission? So, how do you think we're doing? Well, the Normandy's not as ready as she could be. There's always more we could upgrade. And as for the crew, you'd have to ask a, a people person. Kelly? <laughs> oh, man. What do you think about the people we're picking up? Well, about the ones you went out with last, I would never say anything against Miranda and expect to survive the reprisal. <laughs> Jacob is way too nice a guy for the number of ways he knows how to kill people. It's just my opinion, though. There's really no need to go spreading it around. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! Ah, Mango, thank you so much. I'll put all those 5,000 beads inside my bag of holy and I'll carry them everywhere. Mwah! Thank you. Yeah, you miss Muffy. I miss Muffy too. I miss all of you. Wait, I have been here. I streamed way too long this week, Mango. I... But I miss you. Yes, hey Bishop, good to see you. Oh man, thank you, Mango. Thank you so much for the gift and, and for this. Oh well. I'll put them in the in the bag of holding and then I'll walk to the nearest bla blackjack and hookers joint. And and we'll put them to good use. What do you think about the people we're picking up? Well, about the ones you went out with last, I would never say anything against Miranda. Oh, I expect to survive okay. the rep sorry. Jacob is weak. Sorry, sorry. It's just my opinion, though. There's really no need to go spreading it around. Ever think about the old Normandy and the trouble we got up to? <laughs> yeah, those seem like the good old days now, but come on, it, it was hell at the time. Geth, Saren, Sovereign, and then we got dumped. And I got We're killed. We're stuck in a weird place, sure, but back then it wasn't all sunshine and bunnies. Actually, there were a lot of bunnies. Except now. The bunny is not there. <laughs> oh, I love the Joker. There was a bunny. What happened to the rest of the old crew? I heard mm. most survived. Almost did. Presley didn't. And the rest of us just sort of drifted apart. The Alliance didn't care. Oh. I don't think they liked all the non-humans in your crew. We were your team, mm -hmm. Commander. With the Normandy destroyed and you gone, yeah, really there wasn't yeah. much keeping us together. 64 months of gifted tier 3. Thanks, Mango, for continuing to be an amazing <coughs> person. Wow. Mango, thank you so much for gifting 64 months of a tier 3 subscription to Mephistopheles. Somehow, Mango, you managed to give Mephistopheles the sixth a longer subscription than you have known this channel for. I don't know how you manage, but if you do have a time travel machine, let me know in DMs. <laughs> Bradley, I might romance you. I'm kidding, never. Uh, also never to Caden. <laughs> how are you doing, buddy? But are you have, having a good day so far? <clears throat> I don't know who I will romance, actually. Can I romance everybody? Wait, can you romance Kelly? Okay. That's it for now. See you, Commander. Yes. But you, you can't have the sex with everyone, can you? I don't think you can. <laughs> Bradley, I'm not cruel. Come on. Come on. It was just, I'm just playing around. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you had a good day. 
they get angry and then we get angry the sex with them required to use the technical laboratory okay so the door doesn't open if i okay what's this area of the ship this is the combat information center here the crew receives sensor data and coordinates gunnery and damage control efforts while normandy is flown from the bridge during combat the commanding officer issues orders from the cic what is this about this game that it feels so new? I don't know, it could be that we just finished Mass Effect 1 and that felt so old. But how comes Mass Effect 1 feels like it was 20 What's years? What's this area of the ship? This is the armory. Older than this. Small arms are maintained and upgraded. Using OmniTool, computer-aided design and manufacturing, we have the capability to manufacture several new models. Wait, sorry, I was thinking about ass and I completely missed what she said. What's this area of the ship? This is the armory. It's your fault, Small Harris. Arms are maintained and upgraded. Oh. Using OmniTool, computer-aided design and manufacturing, we have the capability to manufacture several new models. Yeah, I remember. Commander. I know. There hasn't been time to really settle in and take stock. I want to say that working with you is a great opportunity to do something that matters. It's a privilege to serve on the Normandy, Commander. Ah. The Mass Effect 1 original is unplayable? Oh, panic. Hmm, I see. I don't know. Glad Murloc, because I find that I'm only so happy and, you know, happy and, and happy and, you know, because of all the things that we went through in Mass Effect 1. You may change your tune if we end up like the original Normandy. <laughs> Maybe. As long as the elusive man walks his talk and you do the same, I'll do my best to make sure we succeed. That's been the condition for my service so far. I have issues with certain actions Cerberus has taken in the past. Like, what? What has Cerberus done to make you nervous? A lot. They've been called terrorists, and with good reason. Doubt you can find a more checkered past. But if the Collector threat is real, and we do something about it, Cerberus will be remembered differently. Or we'll all be tried and executed. Can't count on people thinking about it as hard as I have. Panic. Panic. This man has anxiety. Bradley, we just started the game. We just started the game. I don't remember shit about this. I'm just I'm just happy because we just played Mass Effect 1. And that one I remember. Uh Tommy, I was reading the card. I didn't read it out loud, but uh I I, I showed that your handwriting is just fantastic. His ass is very sad, right? Okay, how about this? I just took a screenshot of his ass. And I will make a, say, a, a paint file. And I'll collect all the asses I find. And then we see side by side which ass is our favorite. Okay, not looking, not looking. Glad to have you aboard. I look forward to working with you, Mr. Taylor. Likewise, Commander. Let me know if you need anything. Mephi, I got the background. Uh, Commander, can I help the, you with something? The got most NPCs just suck my dick, even though I don't have a dick. How we doing, Jacob? What's your sense of the mission? Probably the same as everyone else. War I just want to figure something? out what the real threat actually is. Got no problem with risk. I just need a clear goal. Anything else, Commander? So? I'm more interested in just talking for a bit. Already? I'm not big on forcing these talks, Shepard. Let's do this later. Rejection number three. <laughs> what do you think of the state of the crew? Well, we don't have a full complement. We don't stand a chance without the right specialists on side. Anything else, Commander? 
understand you made quite an impact after you left the Alliance. Miranda and I stopped a Batarian plan to release a biological agent on the Citadel. That's when I first met her. It took us out to the Nemean Abyss and back. Saved the Citadel like you, but what's the same? A Is good it? deed's like pissing yourself in dark pants? Warm feeling, but no one notices. The whole thing was hushed like they're good at doing. But I know what I did, and I'm proud of it. Did you just piss your pants? Jacob? What? Jacob. I feel as weird for being rejected now. Huh? Yeah. We'll talk later. Sure. Commander. <laughs> Dizziness. It's okay. It's okay. I get wrecked as many times as I wreck people. It's fine. It's just how things be. <laughs> Please change your pants, Jacob. Ooh. What's this area of the ship? This is the FTL communications room. In addition to interfacing with the FTL comm network, Normandy is fitted with a quantum entanglement communicator linked to the elusive man's office. This allows lag-free communication even when you operate off the comm grid. Lag-free communication? We don't even have that on Twitch! Like the other day, I would say something stupid and would take you guys like 30 seconds to reply to it. By that time, I didn't even remember what I was saying. I have a bad memory. Why aren't these used everywhere? Each quantum pair costs nearly as much as a comm relay and can pass Whoa. only one quantum bit of data at a time. In addition to the cost and bandwidth issues, the system is strictly point to point. To contact a hundred different worlds, we would need to manufacture and install a hundred entangled pairs, one linked to each world. Well, we already have an entangled ass in the ship. I've never heard of a quantum entanglement communicator. How does it work? Essentially, two subatomic particles are created in an entangled state. One is installed here, and the other in the elusive man's office. When one particle occupies a given quantum state, its entangled partner will always enter the opposite state, no matter the distance between them. If we alter the state of our particle, that alters the state of the elusive man's. This allows us to send data in the form of quantum bits. Do you have any quantum theorists in chat? I know this is a stupid question, but here we go. Any quantum physicists in chat? <laughs> Klinger, you're not one! You can barely tell the difference between any video game in Skyrim. Beef, your name is Beef. If you're a doctor with the name Beef, I'm not letting you near me with a, with a knife. No. <laughs> okay, okay. This, I, I, for my little understanding of physics, this sounds like kind of crazy. But but would something like this be 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 possible? This would break casuality. New quantum phone who this? You're right, really? This is correct? Oh, I see. Uh, Klinger, come on. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I know that uh, quantum entanglement is a thing, but, 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 this seems like a bunch of horseshit. Yeah. Why aren't these used everywhere? Each quantum pair costs nearly as much as a comm relay and can pass only one quantum bit of data at a time. In addition to the cost and bandwidth issues, the system is strictly point to point. To contact a hundred different worlds, we would need to manufacture and install a hundred entangled pairs, one linked to each world. Wow. He asks. Uh... But faster than light, 
It's not possible, is it? Because that means we would travel in time? Because if something faster than light is possible, time travel would also be kind of possible, right? I've never heard of a quantum entanglement communicator. How does it work? Essentially, two subatomic particles are created in an entangled state. One is installed okay. here. When one particle... If we alter the state of our particle, that alters the state of the elusive man's. This allows us to send data in the form of quantum bits. That's all for now. Logging you out, Shepard. Uh, yes, uh, Mago. Uh, it's, it's a physics... Oh, that's an ass. Why do I have an ass in my screen? What the fuck? And it's a badass. Literally, not a badass, it's a bad ass. I, I get it, guys, but, but as, as our understanding of physics goes, going faster than light breaks our understanding of physics. So the universe operates in a very, in a very specific way that so far things have been understood. And everything kind of breaks apart if you travel faster than light. The rule is that information cannot travel faster than light. Oh my god, I always out tab to the ass. We know so little in the grand scheme of things. Yeah, I understand that we know so little in the grand scheme of things, but... Hmm. So you're saying we could be living in a simulation. You know VR chat? Maybe we are in VR chat. And this is life. And if our VR chat became so real that we started creating VR chat and video games within our VR chat and our video game. Oh, hi. Commander, what can I do for you? Can we talk? Do you have a minute, Miranda? No doubt you've got a lot of questions. Cerberus isn't as evil as most people believe. If I can help allay any of your concerns, I'd be happy to do so. So, what would you like to know? I'm fine. This timeline has burritos. Tacos are better. Uh, is your ass natural? I don't care about Cerberus or the elusive man. That's not why I came talk to you, Miranda. Okay, I'll try again later. Nah, fine. I know what we're doing here, but what's Cerberus' long-term goal? The advancement of the human race. Nothing more, nothing less. The Salarians have the special tasks group. The Asari have their legendary commandos for, for stealth him. and recon operations. Cerberus is humanity's answer to those organizations. Okay. Oh, Penny. Keep in mind. Okay, talking about quantum mechanics is kind of like entangling my brain. We should go back to talking about ass. But those organizations are regulated by governments. Who keeps Cerberus in check? Nobody. We're privately funded and our backers trust the elusive man to make the right decisions. But he's very clear about our goals. 
protect humanity and serve its advancement. She closed her eyes in such a weird way. Is it weird that she seems more like ChatGPT than the actual AI of the ship? Are you military or political? Or both? Cerberus has several divisions. Political, military, scientific. But we're all working towards the same goal. We keep our ranks and structure similar to the Alliance. A lot of our recruits started there, but not all Cerberus operations use the same protocols. We try not to get bogged down in bureaucracy or formality. Which is good and bad. Like everything else in life, except bunnies. What kind of resources does Cerberus have? We're very well funded, though I doubt anyone other than the elusive man knows exactly how well. But our resources aren't unlimited. Reviving you and rebuilding the Normandy was a significant investment and a significant risk. We're all hoping you can do the impossible, Shepard. No pressure. No pressure. What can you tell me about the elusive man? Not much that you don't already know. Even I don't have access to most of his background. And you've seen more of him than most ever do. It's rare for him to become directly involved in missions, but you're something special. Whatever else people might say about him, I can assure you he's got humanity's best interests at heart. That includes you and me. How can you be sure of that if you know so little about him? I didn't get to where I am without knowing how to gauge people's motives and ambitions, even from brief encounters. He's no saint, and he'd be the first to admit it. But he is committed. Humanity couldn't have a better advocate. Mm. Oof. <clears throat> you guys ready for rejection number four? Ah. Let's go. Tell me about yourself, Miranda. Oh, I guess that's fair. I've spent the last two years learning everything there is to know about you. Well, you should probably know that no, I've had Jack. extensive genetic modification. Not my decision, but I make the most of it. It's one of the reasons the elusive man handpicked me. I'm very good at just about anything I choose to do. <laughs> Excuse me? Uh, yes. Um, what was she saying? <laughs> um... <laughs> <laughs> um shit what level of genetic <laughs> modification are we talking about that's very thorough physically i'm superior in many ways i heal quickly and i know half again oh. as as the average human my biotic abilities are also very advanced for a human of course add to that some of the best training and education money can buy and well it's pretty impressive really so you're perfect it sounds like you were designed to be perfect. Maybe, but I'm not. Oh. I'm still human, Shepard. I make mistakes like everyone else. And when I do, the consequences are severe. Everyone expects a lot from someone with my abilities. Ass to. Should I call her cocky? I mean, I feel like she has earned it. That she can walk around holding that giant beautiful ass, she has earned it. <laughs> you certainly don't lack for confidence. It's just a fact. My reflexes, my strength, even my looks, they're all designed to give me an edge. No point in hiding from it. It's the reason I'm trusted to oversee the most dangerous, risky, and technically demanding operations Cerberus undertakes. And it's why I was assigned to you. It's my job to make sure you succeed, Shepard. <laughs> and you guys thought you couldn't find a match for Liara, huh? It just takes a perfect ass bitch to beat a blue alien with penises as hair, huh? Thanks for the information, Miranda. I'll talk to you later. Of course, Commander. Whatever you need. Oh, man. She sit down? Why is she sitting down? That's so bullshit! I wanted to take a screenshot of her ass. For the ass. 
copulation. It's okay, we'll have a chance. <laughs> hey, we're doing some research, okay? It's for science. Oh my god, look at those sad asses. Oh man, it makes me sad to just look at them. Oh man. Chef surprise again? Come on, Rupert. I'm sorry, Princess. Filet mignon and caviar coming right up. Let me just get out my doilies. That'd be real nice, Mr. Gardner. What the heck? You don't mess with the chef. With the chef. Commander Shepard, the hero of the Citadel. <laughs> you did humanity proud that day. Miss Sergeant Rupert Gardner here. How can I be of service? Okay, that's a good one, Mango. We'll do it. Need anything? Do you have everything you need? I make do. But have you ever tried to prepare a decent meal with military provisions? I'm good, but I'm no miracle worker. Foods. Taking down the collectors is going to be rough business. The crew deserves a few fine meals before they throw themselves into the fire. How can I what do you help? need? If I had some quality ingredients... Oh, shit. You've got more to worry about than grocery shopping on the Citadel. Forget <laughs> I mentioned it. Come on! I head that way, I'll keep an eye out. Much appreciated. <clears throat> Most of this list is probably standard fare <laughs> for those Namby Pambies on the Citadel. Anything else you'd like to talk about? So, what do you think of Miranda's ass? What do you do here on the Normandy? What don't I do? Most think of me as the ship's cook, but I'm also the facilities technician and custodian. HVAC, oh. plumbing, non-mission critical electrical, I make sure they're all clean and running. So the man cleaning the toilets is also preparing the meals? I wash my hands, most of the time. This ain't <laughs> no luxury liner. You have to pull your own weight in a server's <laughs> vessel. And I catch what falls through the cracks. <laughs> through the cracks. <laughs> Tell me about those cracks, Sergeant Gardner. Ah, oh, they're great cracks. <laughs> How do you feel about working for Cerberus? Damn proud. Cerberus gets the job done. The Alliance and Council have got their heads buried so deep up their butt puckers they can't see squat. But It'll take pocket. good old human ingenuity to crush these collector vermin. Only Cerberus knows that. How did you find the way to Cerberus? <laughs> Can you believe I was once a family man, working the Ezo rigs along the frontier? I was happy enough, but losing everything to Batarian raiders can oh, change shit. your outlook. Uh... I needed to make a difference. I'm no soldier, but I've got skills, and Cerberus keeps an eye out for talent. <laughs> I'll do whatever it takes to help. Be that plumbing a sewer, routing an air duct, or keeping everyone's bellies full. Ah, he's awesome. High five! I wish I could high five him. High five! I won't take any more of your time. You guys will do. Back to work. Wait, did you guys wash your hands? Most of the time? Okay, sure. Oh, sorry. I feel like the the gravity field that the harass generates is so large that I I was just gravitating towards it. <laughs> oh man, I I need to get some water. Be right back. <laughs> I'm thirsty.
They did a really good job of the collision on this chair. <laughs> what the hell? No, no, I'm just, I'm just finishing a snack. Then I'll be back.
Hi. Sorry. I... I ate one delicious cinnamon roll. It was so good. Oh my god. I found out a bakery nearby. And oh boy, it's so good. Mmm. Ah. It's so good. So good. I'm actually really tempted in eating another. Ah. Mm. Nah. It's okay. So zanary. Would you like to tell us about your pact with the devil? How the hell did you roll? 666 in the chat. How? Zanary? Would you kindly? Oh. So you're so for carrots? I also had to feed the bunny. The stream room was way too hot, so even though I do have the camera on, the bunny is just not here. And honestly, I cannot blame the bunny. This place is just way too hot. Mm. Could also be because of Miranda's ass, you know? At the end of the day, it's hard to know exactly where all this heat's coming from. We shambling. Gosh, I love this trembler. I really hope uh, uh, Darkest Dungeon makes um, a trembler plushie. Oh, that would be so cute. Oh, what is it? A little mini trembler. That'd be adorable. Oh, yeah? What patch? W what did they change? <laughs> Mango, I was so tired that day. I finished that stream six I Oh, what's happening? Oh. Oh. Eh. How do I Here you go. <clears throat> oh. Commander Shepard, I watched the Normandy crumble with you on board. Oh my god. It's good to see you alive. Oh my god. I'm so happy to see her. Ah. Oh. I'm shocked. <gasps> You're serving on a Cerberus vessel now? Surprising. Even to me. Yet, here I am. The oh. kind of trauma you endured would have changed most people. But not you, I see. <laughs> Welcome back, Shepard. Aww. Doctor, you've been with the Alliance for years. Why leave now? After the Normandy was lost, the surviving crew was reassigned. I was stationed at the Mars Naval Medical Center. A very respectable position, but it wasn't on a starship. The Aww. Colonial military life isn't for you? I've spent most of my life on warships, never knowing what the next mission might bring. 
I'm used to the hum of engines, the creaking of bulkheads, that subtle vertigo when the momentum dampeners kick in. Oh Life planet side is just too static, too boring. Ah. You're not the Cerberus type, Doctor. I don't work for Cerberus. I work for you. Ah. On a mission that may be crucial to the survival of the human race. I have faith that your dealings with Cerberus will be ethical. I trust you, Commander. I love her. There's a very good <laughs> chance this mission will be a one-way trip. Are you prepared for that? I've been through the reclaiming of Shanxi, the Skellian Blitz. We survived the Battle of the Citadel and the destruction of the Normandy together. I've <laughs> lived a full life. No regrets. I'd like to make sure the crew gets the same opportunity. If she's not dying? If she dies? That's it. That's it. I'll see you later, Doctor. Commander. Because that sounded like a goodbye dialogue. What the hell? I, I find it so weird. Like, if I would see, like, all these people after I was dead for two years, I would give them a big hug. But maybe I'm weird. A gunnery officer is required to access the gunnery control station. Oh my god. They had two years to move on, but it's still a big hug. When you see people that you almost died together, you don't even at least give oh, them a hug. She's a cutie. How old? Ah, uh, she'll be a year old next month. Oh, you'll miss her first birthday. Wow, my family lives in New Canton. Oh, uh, that colony's on the edge of the frontier. Could be vulnerable to collector attack, couldn't it? Exactly. It's most important that she have a first birthday. That's why I'm here. We cannot fuck this up, you guys. We... Cannot fuck this up. So, Harris, you're saying... You would not hug... What's his name again? Shit. You would not hug... Caden? You would not hug Caden. Oh, the frame is in the bathroom. Cardboard Alenka! <laughs> Listen. Listen, N... Cave... Clave. That's so fucking rude. Do you know how much personality some cardboards have? Do you know how impactful in somebody's life a cardboard can be? Do you know that my rabbit has so much enjoyment out of a simple piece of cardboard? That amount of enjoyment cannot be had out of Caden. So please have some respect for the fucking cardboard pieces that are hardworking and actually have some personality. Sorry. <laughs> Access to this room is currently restricted. Why? I'm the captain. You came all the way down here to see us? Of course. You're speaking to our commanding officer. Aww. I'm touring the ship, getting to know my crew. I'm Engineer Ken Donnelly, handling the power control systems. This is Gabby. That's Engineer Gabriella Daniels, actually. <clears throat> I'm responsible for the propulsion systems. What can we do for you, Commander? I love his accent! Are you set up okay down here? We can't complain. I just wish it didn't take so long to calibrate the FBA arrays. The Kenneth, you're complaining. <gasps> no. <laughs> Shut up, Mango. What kind of problems are you having? 
When they upgraded the Normandy design, they got a bit sloppy with the FBA couplings. Oh. I won't bore you with the tech, but there is an array of attenuators in the primary power transfer system that channels the field bleed. Katlin? You're boring the commander with tech. In short, if we had T6 FBA couplings installed, it'd save us a lot of maintenance time each day. Oh. Why isn't something like that already installed? It's probably just a design oversight. Efficiency isn't affected, it's a maintenance issue. Also, the T6 model can be hard to find. Nash and Stellar Dynamics discontinued them. Oh, we could Penny. probably find he used ones in the Omega markets, but we have no time for shore leave. Okay. Where'd you receive your training? Both Gabby and I started in the Alliance, serving on the SSV Perugia. She flew in the first wave at the Battle of the Citadel. We saw Sovereign firsthand. <laughs> Mango, what the fuck? Did you romance Ashley or something? How did you wind up with Cerberus, Ken? Once you were gone, the Alliance brass descended like vultures, tearing apart everything you'd said. I was very public with my defense for you. I didn't hold back. That's an uh. understatement. If Kenneth wasn't such a talented engineer, they'd have court-martialed him for insubordination. Oh my but god. But it got me noticed by the elusive man. He made an offer, and here I am. Ah, oh, that's sweet. So why did you join, Gabby? Kenneth and I have been partners in crime since we graduated from Tech Academy. When he got the Cerberus offer, I insisted that it include me. <laughs> fall apart without me. Thanks, Mum. Also, I love engines. He's and fucking Normandy his mother. Is state of the art. When I got the opportunity to work on her, I had to jump. Did he call her mom? Because they're definitely fucking. Actually, we don't know much about the organization other than the Normandy team. We know our mission and who's in charge. We're off to kick the collectors right in their daddy bags. <laughs> That's enough for me. Okay. We're gonna go kick up some collectors in the in their daddy bags. Daddy bags. I don't think I have ever seen this term before. So how's your daddy bags go? <laughs> okay, that, that's weird. Um Daddy bags. Carry on. Will do, Commander. <laughs> Daddy bags. I'm amazed Shepard came down to see us. I told you she would. I love them. I love them. Of course I would. What's this area of the ship? This is main engineering, which contains. Wait, no, sorry, Eddie. What's this area of the ship? This is main engineering, which contains the ship's main fusion <laughs> mass effect core. Alabama. <laughs> Falling Ryan, it's okay, it's okay. We we just started the game, we just got the ship, and 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 I, I I'm just like I'm basically going around just talking with everyone and mostly just trying to zoom into Miranda's ass, but failing. Failing. Miserably. Daddy bags. Yeah, his accent is so nice. <clears throat> <laughs> this ship is so nice. This ship is so much nicer than the first one. I mean, it looks the same, but like, to navigate? It's a still a fucking maze, as you can see. I'm obviously lost. <laughs> but it's so nice! Hey, Justinian. How are you doing? Stat rat. Oh, fish! Oh, music? Nice. Hey, Major. Listen. I finished Elden Ring with motion controls, okay? Team status? Whoa!
<clears throat> Wait, we have so many unread messages. Are you serious? We just started the fucking game! Message from Anderson. Two years of unread messages? Wait, where is the message from Anderson? Here! I already scanned in the Amada system. Oh, the wreckage of the Normandy? Oh... And the... Wait... One of our cells just went off the grid? Okay... It feels like we're playing Death Stranding again now. Matthew, I'm playing Death Stranding with you. Arc projector. The password, silence is golden. Hello, Commander Shepard. Why is Commander Shepard in all caps? Thank you for submitting your updated magical documentation. Your status has been changed from deceased to alive. Did I do that? After the du deducting modest administration fees for closing the file, subsequent changes. Wait, what? Oh shit! Or a bank account. Yeah, Isaac, how are you doing? Wait. Panic. Okay. They took most of our money, they did. Can we just go and... Hang around the Kasumi's terminal? Okay, wait. How does the entire galaxy know that I'm alive now? On the off chance that the rumors are true and you are actually alive, <clears throat> Galaxy Twitter, <laughs> I need you to come and talk to me on the Citadel. Oh my goodness. Okay, do we go to Anderson first? Where do we go first? Oh, panic. Panic. How do we even go anywhere? We go for a nap? Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. But I just read all of them! How may I help you, Commander? That'll be all. I'll be here if you need it. Panic. She fucking lied to me. Kelly, you bitch. Oh, 
Oh, it's so nice. Wait. Am I buying? Oh. I'm putting on some gas. Oh, let's... Oh, panic. I love how they put the, the quest that we have to do in the... The round. Random planet? Mm. Methane and ammonia? Ugh, that must be smelly. It's a fart planet. Where is the citadel? Where do we go first? Do we go first to the citadel? Ah, I don't know. Wait, do you want me to scan your anus? Yeah, no, what the hell? Please behave yourself. You have never acted like this before. Do I look like a urologist to you? Turns out it was really easy to find your anus. projects platinum is used to upgrade sniper rifles shotguns and medical equipment high five we probe uranus probing uranus probe away <laughs> probe launched launching probe <laughs> she sounds so done probe away <laughs> probe launched. Sorry. Do I have a limit of probes? Probe launched. Let's probe all of it. Last probe, let's go. It's okay. I hope your anus had a good time. I need you. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. I just wanted to probe it. How do I get more probes? Oh. Oh, the same way as flu? Okay. Oh, Mercury. Nice. Oh, there's materials. Saturn, Mars, Earth. Can we go on Earth? Oh, that's not Earth. Sorry. <laughs> no, we can't. Ah, oh, that's bullshit. Wee, Daddy Jupiter. Hey, Senpai. How are you doing? You know, as somebody that has grew, uh, grown up watching Sailor Moon, I always assume that Uranus and Neptune are fucking. I love that they included Pl Pluto. <laughs> they probably are. <laughs> Strat. Strat. I... I... I never had um How is it called when they probe uh, your stomach through your anus versus from your mouth? I keep I forget. Eye probes. 
colonoscopy is the butt one. Endoscopy. Yeah, I had an endoscopy, but I never had a colonoscopy. But I had the best sleep of my life when I had my endoscopy. It was so good. I have never felt this rested. The cartoon. Oh my god, this looks so good. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I love I'm sorry, Mato. I hope they put you to sleep and you have a good time. Sleeping. I don't know, Harry's. I don't know. I was sleeping, so to me, it didn't really make a difference. The prep is awful. Oh, rip. Well, I wonder who should we bring with us, you guys? Oh, wow, the choices are so many. I miss bringing arrows and racks everywhere. What is this? Is the game forcing me to level up? Can I level charisma? Commando? Ooh. So we lose our underwear if we level this up? Sounds like a good one. Ooh, which one is better? Mm. This one. Combat mastery? Oh, rip. I'm sorry, Mojok. Should I redo? Really? Should I redo? It's okay. I think we can redo. Wait, playing under hardest difficulty also makes getting laid more difficulty? M m harder? Oh. Getting laid is always highest difficulty? It's true. Mango, I'm using... I'm using Soldier. Because since you guys con uh, convinced me to go Vanguard for the, uh, for the previous game, I decided to... Oh, there we go. Commando? Oh! Wait, what? Paragon Renegade plus 
I kind of want to go commando just so I can tell everybody that I'm commando while wearing underwear. But shock trooper seems better. Yeah. I don't know. I think I will go with Paragon or Shock Trooper. But but it gives plus hundred percent Paragon and a Renegade. I'll take that. Yeah. That seems better. <clears throat> but if anyone asks, we're we're going commando, okay? Commander Shepard, enter the password and receive a free gift. Oh, free gift? Can I help you, ma'am? It's been a couple years since I passed through here. Security seems to have tightened a bit. After the Geth attack, there was a review of security protocol. A few minor changes were made to reduce the risk of Geth infiltration. Oh. We apologize for the inconvenience. You'd think a Geth would stand out. Assumptions are dangerous. Be alert, be safe. <laughs> Thanks for your time. Next. What, do you think, do you think this guy here is a Geth? Can I help you, ma'am? Oh yeah, that's giant. No, thank you. Next. That giant jellyfish is certainly a Geth. I guess not. <laughs> Got problems with collectors? Try Kasumi's credit services. Uh, I love you. I, I, I love your com this commentary, Kate. 20 kilo ferrous slug. Feel the weight. Every five seconds, the main gun of an Everest class dreadnought accelerates one to 1.3% of light speed. It impacts with the force of a 38 kiloton bomb. That is three times the yield of the city buster dropped on Hiroshima back on Earth. That means Sir Isaac Newton is the deadliest son of a bitch in space. Now, serviceman Burnside, what is Newton's first law? Sir, an object in motion stays in motion, sir. No credit for partial answers, maggot. Sir, unless acted on by an outside force, sir. Damn straight. I dare to assume you ignorant jackasses know that space is empty. Once you fire this hunk of metal, it keeps going till it hits something. That can be a ship or the planet behind that ship. It might go off into deep space and hit somebody else in 10,000 years. If you pull the trigger on this, you are ruining someone's day, somewhere and sometime. That is why you check your damn targets. That is why you wait for the computer to give you a damn firing solution. That is why, serviceman Chung, we do not eyeball it. This is a weapon of mass destruction. You are not a cowboy shooting from the hip. Sir, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Holy shit. Just enter your password for a fabulous prize package worth millions oh, of credits. Hi, cuties. Oh, man, I still love them. Wait, that was Raiden? Okay, really? How many times can you walk by? Really? Are you serious? Shepard, you do have the password. I love right? him. Please tell me your password, Commander Shepard. Silence is golden. Good to finally meet you, Commander Shepard. Kasumi Goto. I'm a fan. Ah. Uh. Has Cerberus filled you in on the mission? Honestly, I'm shocked they didn't come to see me sooner. Huh. My fault for being hard to find, I guess. <laughs> What's with the password and the sneaking around? No touch? Are you in trouble or something? Oh, really? I'm the best thief oh, in the oh, 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 my Not bad. Oh, my bad. Oh, my bad. I didn't know. I'm I sorry. I needed to make sure all this was legit. And I have no idea. Okay. I'm really glad you're helping me out with the heist. Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. See you on the ship, Shepard. This is a DLC? Wait, wait. Yeah, you did. Jen. You did mention. But did you forget that I have the memory of a goldfish?
Ja, ja, ja. <laughs> Dude. I know you told me and now I remember. <laughs> I forgot. And I saw a hot woman talking with me. <laughs> Dude. Uh, it's not my fault, okay? My brain is already barely functional. A goldfish has better memory. It's true. I didn't know there was a DLC. Should we even do the DLC now? I don't want to do a DLC now. I just wanted to talk with... Uh... Commander Shepard, enter the password and receive a free gift. Oh, this is it, right? No touch! Got problems with collectors? Try Kasumi's credit services. Okay. Wait. Just enter your password for a fabulous prize package worth millions of credits. Oh, man. Okay, really? How many times can you walk by without stopping? I'm stopped. Shepard, you do have the password, right? Fear the old blood. Is that the password? Commander Shepard, oh, wrong game. enter the password and receive a free gift. Fear the old blood. Got problems with collectors? Try Kasumi's credit services. I do have problems with collectors. Just enter your password for a fabulous prize package worth millions of credits. Will she really give it to me? Why do I have to talk with Isaac Newton again? Can I help you, ma'am? Yeah. It's been okay. A couple years since I've passed. Okay, done. It's been a couple years since I've passed. Think yeah. Assumptions are dangerous. Next. Okay. This recruits is a 20 kilo Ferris slot. Do we have to Feel listen to everything? Every five seconds, the main gun of an Everest class dreadnought accelerates one to one. Okay, this is fine. Did we hear it, Jen? It impacts with the force of a 38 kiloton bomb. That is three times the yield of the city bus. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Quick save. Earth. Oh, thank that God. Means have five, I save. Newton is the okay, good. Son of a bitch in space. Now, serviceman Burnside, what is Newton's first law? Sir, an object in motion stays in motion. I'm intimidated, sir. No dude. For partial answers, maggot. Please. Sir, unless acted on by an outside force, sir. Damn straight. I dare to assume you ignorant jackasses. No. Benica. Oh, sexy. Garrus? Obviously, security has tightened since you were last here. Shut it down. What? Do you seriously think? Is that Garrus? Yeah, okay. Sorry for the inconvenience, ma'am. Sounds like Our scanners are picking up false readings. They seem to think you're uh, dead. Um. Well, technically, I was. I was listed as missing in action a couple years ago. Would you mind checking in with my captain? He can reinstate <sighs> you in our system. He's just past the scanners on your right. It's okay. He's a saxatorian. Why do I find Torian so sexy? You'll scream a little. He's not going to tell you everything just because you ask. Excuse me? I, I know, sir. If you don't have the stomach or you're worried about being reported, I can take care of it. And then? No, sir. I can handle it. Mark Prime, hi. We just started Mass Effect 2. Yes. He's hot. I see the problem already. Is Commander he fuckable? Shepherd. My console says you're I dead. mean, romanceable? Sorry. I can phrase things better. You're not worried I'm some imposter claiming to be me? <laughs> We have the best screening equipment in the galaxy. Those scanners can sample DNA from skin <laughs> flakes. Oh. Hell, if you have unregistered gene mods, they can even figure those out. Oh, wow. <clears throat> Your sergeant said you could help with that. Usually, you'd have to go through the station security administration to reactivate your IDs, then to customs and immigration. No, I meant to, to romance access this guy. To the Citadel itself, and probably a stop by the Treasury. Spending a year dead is a popular tax dodge. Oh. But I can see you're a busy woman. So how about I just press this button right here and we call it done. I like him. 
If somebody is doing something illegal to help you, you shut the fuck up and take it. Do it. <laughs> oh, is that legal? Oh, man. Couldn't one of us or both of us get into trouble for that? There's no way to fool the DNA scanners in that tunnel. You're you. Why wait in long lines and fill out a mass of useless hard copy paperwork to get to the same place? The oh, council like does everything quests. by the book. They've had thousands of years to write it. Sometimes things need to get done without a committee vote. <laughs> he... I like him. Do it. You're not big on formalities, are you? I'm with them right up until they you keep people good, from doing eh? their jobs. There. I just saved you about nine days of running around. Have that bad. said, you should head up to the Presidium and tell them you're still alive. The Council probably wants to talk to the one who saved their scaly asses. Scaly? What's the easiest way to get to the Presidium? I love down him. Here? Head back through the security checkpoint and take a public shuttle. Oh, really? I will. Awesome. Having access to the council and the Spectre's resources would be How are you doing? Yeah. The council can get anything. Best thing about working CSEC is that any equipment, information, or money you need, you get. Anyway, something else you need? Or can I get back to work? Uh, Planet, please be careful, okay? We might probe you. Because we have already probed Uranus. So we might come for another planet next. How'd you end up working on the Citadel? I started with the Alliance way back when, but the traveling was killing me. It's a shitty life if you're trying to raise a family, seeing your kids every six months. I joined C-Sec so I could stay in one place and put down roots. Aww. You like life here on the Citadel? Yeah, life here is good. Hell of a lot different than life back on Earth. I miss the food, mostly. You just Chris, can't get lovely. sockeye salmon here on the station. Suck eye salmon? The people eat salmon eyes? You ever get back there? Hey, we do. Every couple of years, doing? less and less all the time. But when I finish my stint with CSEC, there's a nice little place in the foothills I'm gonna retire to. Not that I'm retiring anytime soon. Yeah. So how was Sorving's attack? It looks like most of the damage from Sovereign's attack has been repaired. The Presidium was pretty shot up, of course, they fixed that first. All the words got hit with debris when the ship exploded. Most of the damage was superficial, and the Keepers got okay, things restored good. fast. Tasery Ward got the worst. A big chunk hit near the Dillanaga Concert Hall. They're still mm. clearing wreckage and trying to get power restored. Yeah, it's Trout Hat. Ashley's dead. But we did bring a piece of cardboard cardboard with us. <laughs> I'm sorry, Cave. I need to talk to the council. How can I get to the Presidium from here? Head through the security checkpoint and take a public shuttle. Okay. Tell me about this place. All the wards are more or less multicultural, but the other four are dominated by Asari, so Turians, or Solarians. Look at her! In Zakira, we've got major enclaves of Volus, Elcor, and Hanar. Volus? There's also a human commercial zone at Shinakiba. Elcor? Elcor? We've got a few Krogan walking around, and I think I saw a quarry in the other day. Elcor? Last time I was here, there were no human captains in CSEC. No, CSEC took a lot of casualties when the Geth boarded the Presidium. The Special Response Division was hard hit. They stopped turning their noses up at human resumes. They needed bodies in uniform, and we had the most experienced bodies. Oh, okay. I overheard your conversation. Make him scream a little? This isn't the Presidium. All they have to worry about are protesters oh, outside no. their free speech zones or someone's poodle crapping on the grass. Down here, we have drugs, poodles? organized crime, and murder. Policing a ward is like policing New York City. Sometimes you have to work outside the council's rulebook. 
I sure. should be going. You need anything else? Let me know. Yeah, yeah. We need a screenshot. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, here, photo mode. Okay. This. This is a this is a good screenshot. Okay. And uh, um okay. So I I'm going to take screenshots of every teammate's ass and then we'll rank them. Just to know for sure who has the best ass. Welcome back, Shepard. It has been two years, three months, and 17 days since the Citadel last welcomed you. This is the Zakara Ward Transportation Hub. That's a good one. Public shuttles and shopping are available through the CSEC security cordon. Yep. It looks like this place has recovered from Sovereign's attack. Repair of the damage from the Geth attack is ongoing. There is still extensive damage on Tasery Ward. Okay. Geth? It was Sovereign who led the attack. A Reaper. I have no information on a Reaper. References to the term exist in some parahistorical theories on galactic Are you serious? They've suppressed information about the Reapers. Far easier to blame the Geth, a known enemy. Oh That's all God. for now. Thank you for using Avena. Have a pleasant day. Are there cats in the background? You hear like no, 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 no. I hear this is the best place for food on Zakara Ward. You heard wrong. This is the best place for food on the whole damn citadel. Ooh. Yes. Wait, novels? Okay. Revelations? Sure. Okay, 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 bingo, okay, okay. Okay. The Destiny Ascension has completed its 20 colony victory cruise. Council members aboard thanked Human Alliance soldiers for their efforts in repelling Saren's invasion two years ago. Right. Where is Anderson? No, it's okay. I need to find... Anderson. Wait, opposite way? Hamster store? Yes, I'm gonna read for you. Hey, I just wanted to buy stuff. Oh, <gasps> Rex! Those lakes up on the Presidium are filled with fish. No, they're not. You ever been up there? No, CSEC won't let me. They say I'm a risk. Uh, they think every Krogan is dangerous. Damn Turians, we should kill them all. Okay. Good day, my friends. <laughs> Welcome to the Citadel. Wait, classism? Wait. I'd like to buy something. My apologies. I do not make sales. I'm here to answer questions and process returns and exchanges. To make a purchase, browse our electronic catalog over there. Okay. These stores are owned by the Citadel, right? That's correct. Citadel souvenirs outlets are owned by the council government. The profits generated by sales are used to maintain the station. We offer an assortment of decorations suitable for display in your personal quarters. Ooh. Thanks for your time. Of course, citizen. <gasps> A space hamster? Yes! Don't buy 
بايت هاي من دون بايت كيفن كيف دو يو نو اي هاف ا باني هيز نيم از بو ذا ريدينج روين او ماي جاد How long ago was this? Here. Panic! Oh my god, you guys. Commander Shepard, enter the password and receive a free gift. Oh my god. It's okay. Our scanners yeah, are... I was only mostly... Why don't you talk to my captain? He's just beyond the scanners on the... Oh, you... my God. I see the Your problem. Your sergeant said you could help then to... So how about I just... The council does everything by... Yeah. The... That's it. The council probably wants to talk to the one... Head back through the security checkpoint and take a public... I will. Anyway, something else you need? It looks like most of... Tasery Ward got... Head through the it's security... Okay. We've got a few Krogan walking around. Sometimes you have to work. Okay. They stop turning their noses up at human. Have that done. done. We catch up. <clears throat> Did I call anyone sexy? I hear this is the best oh. place for food on Zakara Ward. Yeah, I bought these. Done. Great. Have you a good night. Home. This is the best place for food on the whole damn citadel. Okay. Okay. I heard that those lakes up on the Presidium Done. are filled with fish. No, they're not. Do I need you to to there? interact with the no. Newton guy again? Sisek won't let me. They say I'm a risk. Uh, they think every Krogan is dangerous. Wait. But I bought the magazine. Is it bad that I bought the magazine? Fine, fine. I just need to pick up some spices. Panic. Amino dextrous and amino sinister if you have it. Can those cats stop me yelling? Oh, no bye. <clears throat> okay. Commander Shepard. Enter the password and But I bought the magazine. Hit. I couldn't. Uh, is at 20 kilos I couldn't. Feel the weight. Every fight. I couldn't endorse. Yes. Sorry. I should be going. You need anything else? Let okay. Me know. Okay. 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 <clears throat> Good day, my friends. Welcome to the Citadel. I want an endorsement? Since these stores are owned by the Council, do government employees get a discount? Yes, in fact. Uh, what's your position? I'm a former Spectre. My goodness. I didn't know Spectres quit. I don't believe you qualify for a discount, though. How about what? if I throw in an endorsement from the woman who defeated Saren? You or Shepard? My goodness. The increase in sales would certainly be worth offering a discount. What do you need me to do? Just voice your endorsement into my console. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. Excellent. I will get my clerical VI <gasps> to add it to our advertising immediately. Oh, panic. A five. <laughs> Welcome back. These stores are owned by the Citadel, right? That's correct. Citadel Souvenirs oh. outlets are owned by the council government. The profits generated by sales are used to maintain the station. We offer an assortment of decorations suitable for display in your personal quarters. Okay, thank you. Thanks for your time. Of course, citizen. Hey, I see. Ah! Oh! His mouth here, Rodan looks up of you, but seems like a knowing smile. Go for the eyes, boo! Go for the eyes! I guess we can buy fish too. How do I have so much money? I was dead. So do you want to get one of the fish or maybe a model ship? How is a model ship supposed to remind me of the Citadel? It's festive and you like ships. I'm an engineer, honey. I look at ships all day. Aww. Exit store. Wait, why? I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. <laughs> oh, 
fuck. Go for the ice boat. I wonder what a presidium fish would taste like. I'm telling you, there are no fish up there. I hear an erdnot went up there once. <laughs> an erdnot on the presidium. That'd be the day. Oh, Rex. Ah. Oh. Yes, Mad God. I am super, super excited for Baldur's Gate 3. In fact, when Baldur's Gate 3 came out, uh, early access, I was so excited that I cried in the character cre creation. I grew up playing those games. I have a rabbit. Um, his name is Boo. He's a miniature space... He's a giant miniature space rabbit. Boo's you cousin. Think we could get into the Presidium if we went along the outer hall and brush your suits? What, to kill Turians? We can do that here. No, to get a fish out of those lakes. Will you forget the damn fish? Can I get him the fish? Yeah, I, I, I probably have like more than 500 hours in the early access. I actually got to visit Larian Studios in January and uh, I got to meet a bunch of the people working on the game and it was like such a good time. It was a great time. They're all great people. They're they're doing they're working their hardest. I the really Destiny can't Ascension wait. has completed its twenty colony victory cruise. Council members aboard thanked human alliance soldiers for their efforts in repelling Saren's invasion two years ago. I didn't make a video with them, but if you go on my YouTube channel, uh, there is a video where I talk about how everything went. Uh, but I basically got to hang out with them from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. And it was like one of the best days of my life. It, it, it was honestly awesome. Uh, the early access of Baldur's Gate is only like the first act uh, cave. So, you don't... So basically, it's just the introduction of the game that you get access to. Not really the full game. The attack on the human colony of Freedom's Progress has generated a swift but confused response. Aid vessels have been sent, but it is not clear whether there are survivors. The Council offered its sympathy, but regretted that it could not become involved in a purely human matter. No, it was there just me, Mark Prime. It was just me. It was just me and the devs. My favorite race combo in Baldur's Gate 3. Oh man, dude, I, I don't know what I will play. I have played with every single race and, and class. So what far. can I do for you? I haven't decided what I will be doing. Want an endorsement? Tell me about your services. We sell quality hunting supplies, which you'll need when you purchase one of our adventure travel packages. Hi, Imagine it, human. The break of day. You and your team have been stalking Ashatha for five days. In that time, it's killed four men. You see it? Line it up. Take the shot. Blam! It's down. You're the hero. That's what we offer. Not a vacation, but an experience. So... If everything's done by catalog, why are you here? Rodham believes in salesmanship, the personal touch. Some say we're old-fashioned. We recognize that adventure traveling is a niche, a small, tight-knit community. I don't know, Mark Prime, but whatever I will do, I'm pretty sure I, I will play with the, the build and the class that gets me to romance the most number of people. Your expeditions might be a little tame for me. Tame? A human can hardly take down a feral Varen, let Excuse alone a Shafa. Excuse me? Who do you think you are? I've taken... Well, my name's Shepard, and I... The Shepard? The one that put down Saren Arterius? Oh, you do know me. By the spirits. Shepard, in my store. It's I me! I don't suppose I could convince you to record an advertisement for me. Of course you could! Sure you could. Can we work out a discount? A discount? I'd name my firstborn after you if you ask. Can we record it now? Just speak towards my console. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store. Uh oh, Trisha. <laughs> really? No other gun shop has that kind of endorsement. Oh, panic. What can I do for you? It's a gun shop. 
favorite star. High five! I thought weapons were restricted on the Citadel now. Carrying them around is. Selling them isn't. We store oh. them in off-site containers and deliver them to your ship. People who have permission to carry, like CSEC, can walk out with them. <laughs> Mark Frame, I signed so many D uh, uh, NDAs when I went there, and I'm not breaking any of them. But, however, there is a line that uh, uh, when you're in the camp with Shadowheart and you are romancing somebody else already, uh, you can actually invite her to join. And instead of saying no, she says, not this time. So maybe we'll actually be able to have orgies in Baldur's Gate 3. So, we'll see. I'd like to buy something. Have Try that. an electronic catalog interface. That kiosk over there. Okay. Tell me about your services. We oh, sell yeah, quality we did. hunt. Imagine it, human. Yeah, yeah. Break. I'll be going. Good hunting, Shepard. Oh, so it's just... Oh, fancy. So what do you think? Maybe a shotgun? I like the assault rifle. It's like a non-stop barrage of death. If you can hit anything. <laughs> it's true. I actually hate assault rifles. I still say we should join the Blue Suns. They'd probably pay for it. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. I'm sorry. I thought you could only have Orges in Dragon Age Origins. Have you tried Galaxy of Fantasy yet? I love that game. It's based on Turian mythology, but it's really fun. I hear it has 11 billion players now. An MMO? <laughs> A game salesman? Happy five months. Silent Leon, thank you so much for the five months. Bonafus, Bonafus, Bonafus. Mm, thank you, friend. Thank you. Any games you'd like How to trade are you doing? in? You get two credits toward a new game. Really? You know what's good? Alliance Corsair. The battles are pretty realistic, but it's still fun. And you can install it on an Omni tool. For 10 credits, we offer data protection. I am a basically a bill sales a copy game protection salesman. Of malfunctions, you can download a new copy free. Awesome! Those Asari Hanar porn games they sell in Shinakiba are really nasty. You guys, did I tell you guys that once I accidentally played a porn game on stream? <laughs> it was only for like half an hour. It was an actual accident. So, I... I got invited for a sponsorship that was... Uh, that was to play some indie games on the stream for a few hours. And then, and then they just gave me the name of the game and then a brief description of the game. And, and I did some research, but apparently I didn't do too much research. <laughs> so, I, I found like the cutest games that we could check out during that time. And we found, so, we found some crazy cute games. And then, since you guys like to watch me playing... Oh, sorry. I was playing this fascinating human game, Solitaire. Did you need something? <laughs> so, uh, I, I saved uh, this... Since you guys like to watch me playing scary games, uh, there was this game called Lost from Beyond that... It was described to me as a scary game that's also sexy. And I mean, I love Dragon Age, I love Mass Effect, I love The Witcher, I love Cyberpunk, and those games are all great and sexy, right? So why not a scary game that's sexy? And then I started playing the game. And the game was much more sexy than it was scary. Like the first thing that we saw, thank God, I actually enabled the the filter to hide this stuff before starting the game. 
But the first thing we saw was a giant demon that was basically a giant vagina. <laughs> it was so awkward. <laughs> but yeah, we ended up playing a porn game on stream for half an hour once. I wish they still once. made role-playing games like they used to. No, it's corn. It's corn was great combat. though. I miss those old games where you had to remember to drink water and it took five hours real time to fly somewhere. You miss that shit? I hate going from point A to point B. Oh no, that was many years ago. That was many, many years ago. To be fair, the game did have a story, okay? I had no idea. I didn't want to spoil myself. So I didn't want to play before the event. Do you have an account with us? If you open one, we have a special this month. <laughs> really? You can download a game free. <laughs> oh my gosh. <clears throat> but you know... <laughs> What's with all the cats? Wait, I could talk with somebody. Jacob? Oh. Been years since I've been to the Citadel. Never changes, does it? No matter how long you're gone. Comforting to some people, I guess. What? Living in denial that all this could end. Those are cats. I think I enabled that, Trisha. I think I enabled that. It's still... Very porny. If you know what I'm talking about. The people want to hear your story, Shepard. Oh no. Is this a journalist? Kalisa been seen in Al Jalani, Westerland News. I interviewed you two years ago when you first became a Spectre. You presented your case very well on camera. Do you have a minute? Can I do it? Can I do it? I did punch her in the face. Am I supposed to know you, bitch? Sorry. Don't remember, don't care. But the people remember you, Shepard. Your back, your news. I just want to give your story its due. Sources claim you were at the heart of the Presidium during the Battle of the Citadel. It's fair to say the course of the battle hinged on your words. If true, you told Admiral Hackett to assist the Destiny Ascension, costing hundreds of human lives, and securing the continued dominance of the Citadel Council. Man. Shit. I missed it. How you mean? The Turians lost 20 cruisers. Figure each had a crew of around 300. The Ascension, the Asari dreadnought we saved, had a crew of nearly 10,000. But surely the human cost. The Alliance lost eight cruisers. Shen Yang, Emden, Jakarta, Cairo, Seoul, Cape Town, Warsaw, Madrid, and yes, oh. I remember them all. Everyone in the Fifth Fleet is a hero. The Alliance owes them all medals. The Council owes them a lot more than that. And so do you. Bitch! Commander Shepard, first human specter. Hero of the Battle of the Citadel. Check bid. We get it? Great. Have five! Rushed on my own show. Gosh, I hate that woman. Have five! God, somebody stop those cats! It's driving me crazy! Do we talk to the ad now? No! Oh, 
It's Pharaoh Bunnies. <gasps> this meeting Sexy! would be more productive if Udina was to join us. My advisor is unavailable. As counselor, I represent the voice of humanity and the Alliance. Shepard will be here and... Oh, Commander. We were just talking about you. It's been a long time, Anderson. You really hope the last couple yeah, years have treated yeah. you right. There have been some rough spots. Lua, maybe it's she good to have you back. Back. We've heard many rumors her surrounding your really? unexpected return. Some of them are... unsettling. Uh -oh. We called this meeting so you could explain your actions, Shepard. We owe you that much. After all, you saved our lives in the battle against Saren and his geth. Rangen, thank you so much for the 14 months of support. Maybe she had a sweet bunny, she would be doing better, but you know... Fuck her, Rangen. High five! Shit. The collectors are abducting human colonists in the Terminus systems. Thank you. Worse, we think they're working for the Reapers. The Terminus systems are beyond our jurisdiction. Your colonists knew this when they left Council Space. You're missing the important part, Counselor. The Reapers are involved. Ah, yes, Reapers. The immortal race of sentient starships Excuse me? waiting in dark space. What? Uh, we have dismissed that claim. Shut what up. the fuck? No one else encountered the hologram on Ilos that told you the truth about the Reapers. Only you and your crew ever spoke with Sovereign. I believe oh you. Oh my god. But without evidence from another source. You gotta be others shitting think Saren me. was behind the Geth attacks. Dude. All those people died. Go back to Ilos and talk to Vigil. Or just look at what's left of Sovereign. It's obvious the technology is more advanced than ours. The hologram on Ilos is no longer functional, and we have found nothing to suggest that Sovereign was not a Geth creation. The Geth are oh capable god. of remarkable technological achievements. Oh this is my probably god! Why uh... them. This Reaper theory proves just how fragile your mental state is. You have been manipulated by Cerberus, and before them, by Saren. This is the only Turian that I would not sleep with. Saren was an organic. The Geth would never accept him as their leader. They only followed him because he was Sovereign's agent. Saren was a compelling and charismatic individual. He convinced the Geth the Reapers were real, just as he convinced you. It was part of his plan to attack the Citadel. The Reapers are just a myth. One you insist on perpetuating. Uh, we believe that you believe it, but that doesn't make it true. I kept Saren from conquering the Citadel. I sacrificed human lives to save this council. We are in a difficult position, Shepard. You are working for Cerberus, an avowed enemy of the council. This is treason. A capital offense. That's too far. Oh my god! Uh, Shepard is a hero. I'm on this council too, and I won't let this whitewash continue. Maybe there is a compromise. Not a public acknowledgement, given your ties, but something to show peripheral support. Shepard, if you keep a low profile and restrict your operations mm. to the Terminus systems, the council is willing to offer you reinstatement as a specter. So you're my boss? You can suck my dick. I don't have one. Imagine you are sucking it. What does that mean? Will I need to start filing reports? That won't be necessary. This is a show of good faith on our part. We cannot become involved in an investigation regarding the missing colonies in the Terminus systems. But Spectre reinstatement shows our support of you personally. I do have a giant e penis. Uh, this could actually be, be, hmm. 
Here you. No, I did not save before talking to them. They should be saving before talking to me. Fuck. Ah! Yeah, the Turian. I accept your offer. It's good to have the council on my side. Good luck with your investigation, Shepard. We hope for a quick resolution and a quick end to your relationship with Cerberus. Thank you. Well, that went better than expected. Really? You realize the council's offer is just symbolic. They won't actually do anything. Uh. <laughs> Even if they don't help, I might as well stay on good terms. True enough. Don't worry about the council or the alliance. I'll find some way to keep them off your back. Shouldn't I be know. too. I know. As long as you keep to the terminus systems. Anderson, we need to talk about Shepard. What are you doing here? Do you still have a stick up your ass? Stop by to see how Anderson was doing. You don't have to cover for me. I invited Shepard here to speak with the council. We just finished our meeting. You what? Counselor, do the words political shitstorm mean anything to you? Gosh, I hate him. The council reinstated my Spectre status. They're just happy I'm staying out in the Terminus systems. Yes, I could see how that arrangement works best for both sides. But you really shouldn't have taken a step like this without consulting with me first, Counselor. I don't answer to you, Udina. Why don't you go to your office and think about that for a while? Of course, Counselor. Good day to both of you. Have a day. Sorry about that. Udina. Udina's never gotten over the fact that I got the council position instead of him. Sometimes I need to put him in his place. I know, he's wise, but whatever. Udina's just doing his job. He can't lie. True enough. He's got his uses. We did that and yesterday. if you want something done on the Citadel, he knows who can make it happen. Plus, wow. he's always happy to attend all those formal diplomatic functions I can't be bothered with. Is there a brothel in the Citadel? How long did it take to get Sorry. this place back up to speed after the battle? Still counting. The main areas of commerce and the most populated wards are complete. But estimates for total restoration are sitting around five years. Oh. The keepers always surprise us, though. It's like our repairs are annoying. We'll put up an ugly new bulkhead, and in a few days, they've made it seamless. Wow. We never really thought of them as heavy lifters, and I have no idea where they get the resources. But we'd never get done without them. I love the keepers. I wish I had a little keeper to help me around the house. I feel like the, the biggest flaw with Rumors is that they didn't make them look like little keepers. I'm surprised no one can tell Sovereign isn't Geth technology. Didn't they examine the wreckage? We don't have much to look at. Pieces of it rained all over the station. It was chaos, with who knows how many species combing the wards for their dead. We secured as much of it as we could, but between the keepers and a whole lot of unauthorized salvage, there's no way to account for even half of that thing. Another reason why they don't want to acknowledge what Sovereign was. I know, Rainjoin, I know. Last I knew, we were still fighting holdouts. Now, here and there. But they are increasingly disorganized. It's long since stopped being called a war. More like cleanup. Not that you can ever discount them. But we haven't had serious casualties for months. A civilian ship will spot an enclave and we send in a squad to clear it. They're not quite the boogeymen they used to be. I don't know, Strat Hat. I do believe that sometimes the best people for a job is the people who do not want that job. Especially when it's a position of so much power. How have the last couple years treated you? We're in the very Serving beginning of the, the second isn't game. isn't how I plan to spend my twilight years. Sometimes it feels like I'm just beating my head against a wall. 
Knowing the truth about Sovereign is brutal. It's nightmare stuff. I can't blame others for not wanting to believe it, but I know how important it is. So I keep trying. Fighting the good fight, right? Forget Udina and the Council. Join my crew and help me stop the Collectors. Yes! I'm too old to go racing across the galaxy. Much as I complain, I've got an important job to do here. The front line, that's got to be yours. What about Caden? What happened to Staff Lieutenant Alenko after the Normandy was destroyed? Staff Commander Alenko is still with the Alliance. But he's working on a special mission. It's classified. I can't say any more. Not while you're working with Cerberus, I'm sorry. No panic. I better go. Of course, Shepard, I understand. I wish I could do more to help you. But if you ever want to talk, I'll be here. Just do me a favor and be careful. You can't trust Cerberus. Yeah, yeah. But have you seen that Cerberus ass? How can you not trust the ass? The ass speaks against your words. That's what the ass said. Alliance military officials are having difficulty meeting hiring quotas, according to a new report. Since Eden Prime, an initial surge in patriotic enlistments was followed by a downturn, as the public became skeptical that the Alliance can match Geth technology. Um... This Clanless is a thief, and I want her arrested. What? I was just walking by. Huh? I'm sorry. I'm trying to take a statement here. There's nothing to talk about. She stole my credit shit. What? Arrest her. I did not. Just because I'm a Quarian. I need you to stop and take a deep breath. You're mocking I me, can't. <laughs> Earth Clan. Just because the Vault Clan need it was a poor choice of words, sir. I apologize. <sighs> uh. Oh. Oh, panic. <sighs> uh. Wait, there's a mod that restores Miranda's bad butt shots? David, can you send me the link to that mod? I'm interested. Are you guys interested? <laughs> okay, just, just send that to me. Out to your interest that you don't hide behind the pillow. Did we miss any so far? You say she stole your credit chip? She must have. When she I left the Certa Foundation store, she ran right into me. I refuse to breathe till we verify this mod. Are you sure you didn't leave your chit at the Serta Foundation? Of course not. You think I'd make a mistake like that? I didn't even buy anything there. That chit stayed in my pocket. How does running into you mean she stole your credit I know. chit? That's how pickpockets work. They bump into you and use that as a cover for rifling your pockets. You can't turn your back on these clanless quarians. Thieves. All of them. That's kind of racist. <clears throat> Do you know who's telling the truth? My Omni tool can tell the quarian doesn't have a chit on her. But she could have stashed it to recover later. You know what quarians are like. <laughs> and she's definitely a vagrant. What the I'll fuck? I'll run in and see what Bailey wants to do with her. You say you're falsely That's accused? So I was walking to the used ship dealer when he barged into me outside the Serta Foundation. He didn't stop or say he was sorry. A minute later, he runs up with C-Sec and accuses me of stealing his damn shit. That man is full of shit. Sorry. Do you spend a lot of time with the used ship dealer? Yeah. They've got a lot of nice models. I'd like to buy one and take it back to the fleet, but... A ship would make a great pilgrimage gift. 
You know about the pilgrimage? I traveled with Quarian, who was on hers. I... Wow. I didn't know anyone here would do that for one of us. Do you spend a lot of time at the used ship dealer? Yeah. They've got a lot of nice models. I'd like to buy one and take it back to the... Hmm. A ship would make a great... I traveled with Quarian, who was on I... hers. Wow. I didn't know anyone here would do that for one of us. I'll see if I can find out what happened. Ma'am, this is a C-Sec matter. We'll do all we c bah. All we can David, it's okay. This. Just send this on the score. We don't need civilian help. If you do happen to find the chit, please let one of our officers know. Let's go. Be careful civilian. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store in the Citadel, bitch. That's who I am. Gracias. You ever had ramen? It's a delicacy back on Earth. Delicacy back on Earth? Ramen? Noodles? Did you guys ever eat raw noodles? Like, sometimes you're just so lazy and it's late at night. You just open the package of ramen and you eat them uncooked. I did that in college. It was great. What can I get you? <laughs> Aries, you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm here for. We are not that lazy. Come on, Game Lion. You're part of Twitch chat. You're all as lazy, if not worse. So which tech module are we supposed to get? With confusion. I thought you knew. What? No. All I heard Varana say was, pick up a module. Welcome to Sarinus Applications. Can I interest you? Ah, Shepard! Do I know you? No, but I know you. Aww. Even a senile Hanar would remember the human who fought off the Geth. I thought you were dead. Yeah, I've been getting that a lot. <laughs> Please, look around the store. It's a pleasure to have you here. Okay. I'd like to buy something. Oh, it's all automated these days. There's a catalog interface over there. Um, what's your job? If everything's automated, why are you here? Customer service. Sweeping out the store, carefully okay. explaining things to the technologically illiterate. It's stunning how many people think that light moves faster through expensive fiber optic cables than it does through cheap ones. Really? I love how... Oh, uh, the Hunter? This is the Alcor. Right? The Hunter is the sexy ones. Oh, they're both sexy. A Volus was in here not too long ago. Did he drop a credit chip? Oh, yes. Ah. He bought some environmental system drivers, then left without his chip. I didn't notice he'd left until he was already gone. How about? If you see him, tell him I have it here behind the counter. <clears throat> should I endorse him? We should, because he's nice, right? You know, I use quite a bit of software in my line of work. It's a shame so few understand their own equipment. Besides the most obvious point-and-go nav interfaces, anyway. You wouldn't believe how often I hear, Why is the ship turning around? We're only halfway there. <laughs> oh, I would. You know, I like your products. Any interest in an endorsement from the human who defeated Saren? I'd be thrilled. But I don't think I could afford to pay you for it. Don't worry about it. What if we just work out a discount? Absolutely. Just speaking to my console here. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store in the Citadel. That will be splendid. I can edit that and have it working right away. Thank you so much. It is my favorite story, though. Okay, let's go save the Aquarian. Man, aren't they so sexy? Oddly aroused. Hello. Would you like to engage? in eating dinner with me. It's not responding. <sighs> Welcome back, Shepard. It has been two years, three months, and 17 days no, you since just... the Citadel oh. last greeted you. We reloaded. The Zakara Ward Marketplace provides shopping and storage space for the less privileged residents of the station. Thank you. That's all for now. 
Thank you for using Avena. Mm, the meat isn't fresh out here, but you won't find any better dried. I felt her hand go into my pocket. When I checked, Thanks, my credit chit was gone. Mm. Mm. I didn't even touch you. No. Please move along. You forgot your credit chit at Saranus Applications. The clerk's holding it for you. Oh. Well. The Quarian could have stolen it. I'll close this event report, but I'll be watching you. Get a permanent residence, or I'll run you in for vagrancy. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Thank you. I... I wish I could give you something more than words. Can you take care of yourself from here? I guess. I mean, most nights I eat nutrient paste in a Turian shelter, but I'm surviving. Thanks. Aww. Welcome. The Zakara Ward Marketplace provides shopping and storage space for the less privileged residents of the station. That's all for now. Thank you for using Avena. We have six kinds of beer on tap. What do you mean? Wait, where? Welcome. The Zakara Wait, where? Ward Marketplace provides shopping and storage space for That's the all for now. Thank you for using Wait, interrupt Avena. what? Wait, what did I miss? What trigger prompts? What are you talking about? I was just being happy because she was being happy. I don't know what you guys are talking about. Interrupt what? Wait. Wait, where's the prompt? Go into my pocket. When I Where's the prompt? My credit chit was Where? gone. Where? 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 Even touch you. The conversation? Oh. Please move along. You forgot oh. your credit chit at Saranus Applications. The clerk's holding it for you. Oh. Well, the Quarian could have stolen it. I'll close this event. Get a permanent residence, or I'll run you in for vagrancy. Thank you. I... I wish I could give you something more than words. Where? Did you guys see it? What I didn't see it. was that guy's problem? He had no evidence that you did anything wrong. I don't know. Everyone's been like that since I got here. Yeah, I didn't miss anything. Yeah, I think it was not enough points. So, why are you guys saying you saw something when there was something never there, huh? Bitches. Everything. Look. How do we check? Oh. Okay. How do I get uh, no credit check, no credit Paragon or? All we need is your citizenship ID. Come down today. How do I get the Paragon? Greetings, Earth Clan. You will find many excellent ships for sale here. Only it's okay. I can await the quest. Just so we can protect her. Should we just go and go kill some shit? Where's the brothel? I know. But but I can't for that 
for that case, you know? Do you think we could get into the Presidium if we went along the outer hall and brush your suits? What, yeah, yeah. Centurions? We can do that here. No, to get a fish out of those lakes. Will you forget the damn fish? I'll get this man a fish. Can I get him a fish? I should. Is this a good deed? I see this as a good deed. I'm gonna get him a fish. I'm gonna get him a mac fish. Do I? Holy shit! Krogan sushi? Okay, so let's find somebody in the mark. Hey, Nick, how are you doing? The worst thing about extranet games is when some Batarian comes on and insists on speaking his own language without auto translation. <laughs> oh boy. Wait, how do we. We need to get the cars, right? CT, it's going well. I'm trying to find fish. Wait, the precision is only... Is, is all this? I felt fish. her hand go into my pocket. That's when I checked. Asshole. Solar electronics. Panic! Where fish? You ever had ramen? It's a delicacy back on Earth. Fish. Fish. I don't know where we could get fish. You know what quarry fish? are like. They take anything. Wouldn't a refreshing, delicious Tupari sports drink hit the spot right now? Tupari. Now available with dextro amino acids. You could really go for How do I go to the other floor? I just got a refund in exchange and I was told to pick up a new Omni Jail converter here. I don't think you have the right place. No, they said to go to the warehouse. This is the warehouse. Look, it took me a long time to get this refund. It's a Cision Omni Jail converter. He said there'd be one waiting for me. Do you have a service order? No, I got the refund, made the exchange, and then he said go to the warehouse. Oh, panic. Oh my god, is this the guy from the Torian store? I just talked to him on the wards market. He sent me here. Come on, why do I need a service order? The wards market? Oh why would my you come god. to his Akira Ward warehouse? He said they're out of stock and I should go here. He didn't say anything about a oh service order. Oh my god, he's Without a still here? Order, I really can't help you. Ugh. Oh, I feel so bad for you. I'm so sorry. I saved the world Wait, three times. Wait, this was a trick, wasn't it? He sent me to the wrong place just to get me to leave. I wouldn't know anything about that. I've been trying to get this refund for two years. Two years. I'm not I... up now. You'd get a lot farther in life if you just held on to your service orders and receipts. Thanks. Thanks for the tip. Okay, so... Am I supposed to be here? I feel like I'm just in a warehouse. I wanted to go to the whorehouse. I just got a refund in exchange and I was told to pick up a new Omni Jail Converter here. I don't think you have the right place. No, they said to go to the warehouse. The Good day, citizen. Welcome to the Serta Foundation outlet on Zakara Ward. Tell me about your store. The Serta Foundation is a human organization known for its genetic therapy regimens and genetically engineered products. Serta is probably best known for the development of Metagel. Huh. I'd like to buy something. Purchases are made through our catalog interface. If everything's done by catalog, why Customer are you... service, returns, exchanges, and group rates. We also find that sales are better when there's someone to... Although I'm not sure why a human company exclusively hires Asari to work their stores. <laughs> it's because male, young male humans are oddly attracted to Asari. We learned that in the first game. 
Anyways. I couldn't help but notice your prices. They seem a bit steep. With respect. Not just that, it's true. So concerned with profits. It's true. A portion of our sales funds research to cure genetic diseases. You know, it would make your services more popular. An endorsement from the woman who defeated Saren. Oh my, you're a shepherd, aren't you? I would be glad to give you my employee discount if you would do that for us. It's a deal. Just speak into my console here. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store. On Huzzah! The, the favorite store! I'll work it into our advertising at once. Thank you. My favorite store. Do we buy this? 666? Ooh, this is nice, and I like the price. Let's go. Is it weird that I bought something because I like the price? What do you think, Michael? Maybe the immuno booster? It's supposed to help with alien bacteria. We can get whatever you'd like for little Jake, Rebecca. Wait, the immuno booster can delay muscle development in high gravity environments. What if that hurts him? It's my favorite one, Mark. How do I go up? I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store in the Citadel. It's true. Ah, uh, my favorite customer. What can I get you? I'd like to buy something. Oh, it's all automated these days. There's a catalog interface over there. Okay. I'll be here if you need okay. anything. Oh, man. Wait, can we buy something for the ship here? Oh, man. Shit's so expensive. How do I go to the other floors? Oh. Maybe up here? The citadel is so big. Um, guys, I don't think I can go to the other floors. Maybe not yet. I definitely can't. I just ended up back here at Bailey. I can't even get the Krogan fish, can I? I tried Do taking a fax. We could get into the Presidium if we went along the outer hall and brush your suits. Doc? Level 20. This is a long loading screen. You see, we've been here. I don't here. get the complaints about the Grim Terminus Alliance games. So what if you can capture and beat slaves? It's just a game. Panic? You know anyone who plays that extra net game, Third Coil? <laughs> Me neither. You sure hear about it a lot in the news, though. Yeah. It's like hurrah. <gasps> we found the club! Hadev! Hello there. Something I can do for you? I noticed you're one of the groundskeepers for the Presidium. Do you know if there are fish in the lakes? I get that question a lot. I think it's right behind where's the restroom. Those are <laughs> reservoirs. The Presidium's own supply, independent from the water storage tanks in the wards. The only place I know of on the station to get I a live so. fish is the Leosanese gift shop. Oh! When I pour a glass of water, it's the same stuff tourists throw garbage in. No, they purify it first. If uh. some solarian or human bacteria gets left in, and a Turian or Quarian drinks it, they could die. Oh, Everything goodness. would be so much simpler if we all had the same DNA. But no. The universe loves diversity. Where is that gift shop? In the market downstairs from the bar. Okay. Delea sells aquariums. Fish oh, are the yeah. largest pets most station residents can get a permit for. Oh yeah, I bought Thanks the fish. No problem. But I couldn't give it to, to him. Presidium, check out the demile flowers across from the conduit. The okay, hold on. We'll come back to the, the club soon. Let's give him the fish. 
Because I think that Krogan really wants that fish. How do we... Gosh. Where is he? Is he on the other side of this? Wait, panic? Mr. Krogan? Mr. Asino, leader of the Terra Firma party and former Alliance... Mr. Krogan! ...has pled guilty to tax evasion. He is in custody. Mr. Krogan, sir. You claim you didn't take his credit shit? No! I was walking by Wait. and he just turned on Where's the gift shop? Screaming. Oh yeah, I need to do that class. But first the fish. Are you sure? Is this the wrong floor? Panic! Please move along. Let's go. Be careful out there. Panic, 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 panic! Get a shimas! Noodles. The shepherd scholarship wrong floor. has gone into effect, targeting low-income children on Earth. Where the most famous human in the galaxy allegedly had a difficult childhood. The scholarships have allowed several dozen young men and women to leave gangs and join the military. Look, it took me a long time to get this refund. Oh, it's a that's decision. Nice. Oh, that's so nice. Oh, me. did you guys hear you the news? No, I got the refund, made the exchange, and then he said go to the I'm legally obligated to inform you that I'll be doing an Omni Tool scan. Fine, if it'll get him to leave me alone. I, I have the credit shit, but I don't have the the goodness or the badness to 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 punch that guy in the face. So I'm going to get the Cro Krogan, a Macfish, and then I'll I'll save her. I'm yep. Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. No items I bought. Welcome back. Okay. I'm just browsing. Of course. Take your time. Um, hi. What do you want? Why are you so interested in fish from the Presidium? It's so decadent. Eating a fish from the Presidium would be like screwing Shaira. Screwing, shall we? Squishy. Where are you supposed to get a decent grip? Oh, the, the consort that we fucked. Oh. I talked to one of the Presidium groundskeepers. He said there aren't any fish in the lakes. What? I told you. Why have all that water if you're not going to store something to eat in it? I don't understand aliens at all. Aww. Thanks for telling me. It's all he's talked about all damn day. Oh, he was so sad. Uh, is it better to just lie to him? You think there's any place on board we could buy a fish? <gasps> they don't like live animals on the Citadel. Wasted life support capacity, they say. I can't believe there aren't any fish up there. It must be a mistake. Can we talk about something else now? This is depressing. <laughs> How about we find a Turian and beat the crap out of him? That always makes you feel better. You think there's any place on board we could buy a fish? <laughs> they don't like live animals on the Citadel. I bought a fish. Can I give it to him? Oh! What I found out about Mass Effect is that I'm oddly attracted to Torians, and I find Krogans very cute. I know it looks like I'm not working, but there's only so many times you can sweep the place. If games are still available on OSD, I could alphabetize the rats or Oh, panic. Did I take it to the wrong floor? Where was the, the brothel? Oh man, I should have explored the brothel when I found it. Fuck, I walked in a circle. Volus. I think you like the Volus because they remind you of Darth Vader and you like Star Wars. That's why you like them. 
Do you play those human sports games? They sell well in the Alliance. And to Krogan. <laughs> wow! Are, what are they saying about sports? Sport games and sport games players? Excuse me, Bioware? Eh, sports! Eh, sports! Looking for a little R&R, &R, Shepard? It's a nice enough place. A lot nicer than Cora's Den, anyway. I wasn't sorry to hear they never reopened after the Geth attack. Ooh. <gasps> Shake that booty. Sure. Just like that. What will it be? Hear about anything interesting going on around here? I serve drinks. You want to know what's going on? Check the news. I don't know why humans always ask me that. <laughs> oh. I want the strongest thing you have. Easy enough. Oh no. Oh no. This is... It's green? And guaranteed to knock you on your ass. Unless you're Dextro DNA like me. If you are, it'll kill you. Anything else? Yep. Let's have another one. Let's go! Chug! Chug! Anything else? Chug! Chug! Not done yet. I'm impressed. I've never seen anyone drink three of these. Haven't gotten started. Anything else? Chug! Hit me again. How about we mix it up a little? This is genuine Batarian ale. Uncut. Don't ask how I got it. I've been serving here eight years. I've never seen anyone have this and stay on their feet. Let's go, baby. Anything else? <laughs> she goes. Do it. Okay, for you, something special. This is Krogan liquor. Krogan liquor? You'll set off radiological alarms after you drink it. Should I pour you a quad? A quad? A quad. Like their balls? Like, sure. Hell yeah. Put more of the stuff in the, the thing, more oh. stuff goes in. Your funeral, sister. Let's go. I'm fine. I'm doing great. I'm not. Oh, panic. Oh, panic. <laughs> I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. Be. I want the strongest thing you have. Easy enough. This is. Oh, again? Okay. Let me know if you change your mind. Never mind. Uh. That's all we can do in the brothel? Get drunk? Can we go upstairs? Wait, this is the bathroom? I can dance? Man, we need to go do some real quests. Sorry, I really wanted to hang out with some aliens. I I danced. We danced. We danced. 
Yeah, we danced. We did the shepherd shuffle. Have you tried Galaxy of Fantasy yet? Uh, I love that game. It's based on Turian mythology. Oh, we heard really that one. Fun. I hear it has Neither have a good night. Do do a good boo flop. Oh man. This game has been great and we just started it. I'm sorry I have Wait, Nidar, before you go. Wait, can we get there? No. Commander Shepard, enter the password and receive a free gift. Should we just No. We should go check on the boo. The little boo. Oh man. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Yep. Going there to check. That's me. I have a good night. I mean, Nidar, have a good night. Oh, he makes the same noise. Isn't that the noise that he made when you clicked on him? Minsk. Yeah. Quick. No. Okay. Do we talk to the lady in the ad? No messages for you, Commander. Wait, then. But you know, offered me a pass. I wish you again express my thanks for your assistance in retrieving my wife's body. Well, nothing can ever banish the pain of losing a rally. Oh my gosh, I, we did that in the first game. I have opened the restaurant and my wife always wished to start back on earth. Oh, a five. Oh, that's so sweet. Gimland, have a good night, friend. By the way, Gimland, you're still alive. You're still alive. Wait. Do we recruit her already? Maybe we should. Maybe we should recruit her. Since we are here. Yes. And you got a really good perk. You got a perk that whenever the enemies hit you, uh, you debuff them with something. Lucas, are you around? Lucas, you also got a really good perk. Okay. Recruiting is a bonus. Commander Shepard. Enter the password and receive a free gift. So, so it's okay for us to recruit her, right? Please tell me your password, Commander Shepard. Silence is golden. Good to finally meet you, Commander Shepard. Okay. Kasumi Goto. I'm a fan. Has Cerberus filled you in on the mission? Honestly, I'm shocked they didn't come to see me sooner. My fault for being hard to find, I guess. <laughs> Shab. Hey. 
I've got a spot set up for you on the Normandy. Make yourself at home. Looking forward to it. That's the same thing. Haven't done this kind of thing Bunny before. is good. And thank you Big so much mission, for the saving months. the galaxy. I'm really glad you're helping me out with the heist. He's so nice. Can't wait to see how you look in formal wear. Wait, what? I have a feeling you know something I don't. They didn't tell you? And they call me secretive. <laughs> I'm looking for my old partner's gray box. A man named Donovan Hawk took it. And I'm planning to get it back. Okay. What's this heist you're planning? Thank you, Not Yuzumi. here, Shepard. Thank you. You'll get a briefing mm. when the time comes. I need time to nail down the details anyway. I've taken the liberty of getting you some evening wear, though. You want to look presentable. Okay. I don't know. For some reason, when she mentioned heist, it just gave me such a Dragon Age in Inquisition vibes. What do you know about Donovan Hawk? Mr. Hawk is a well-respected businessman. Is it Arms dealer, murderer, generally Mike not a Hawk? great guy. His mansion's famous for being hard to crack, but I have a way in, and I think you're gonna love it. I doubt Hawk's the kind of guy who takes kindly to people sneaking into his house. I always expect trouble. That's why you're here. I, one of my oldest clips on Twitch is me singing happy birthday to Mike Hawk. Tell me about this former partner of yours. His name was Keiji Okuda. The best yes, hacker Mango. and entry man I've ever known. <laughs> Unfortunately, he slipped up and made himself infamous. He stole something he shouldn't. He warned me it was bad. Something that could spark interstellar war if it got out. That oh, information... Man. ...got him killed. Panic. What could he have found that's so bad? He wouldn't say what it was. Just that it was dangerous. Wait, she talked with me out, in person? Humanity would be in trouble. He encrypted it, wrapped it up in his own memories. To decode the information, you have to sift through all the time we spent together. Now those memories are all that's left of him. If the information's deadly, we have to keep it out of the wrong hands. Donovan Hawk is the last man I'd want holding this information. If that's what Cerberus promised you, we'll get it done. It'll be fun. And if we're lucky, you won't even have to draw your gun. Okay. Damn, she looks good. We should probably wrap this up. You look pretty silly standing there talking to an advertisement. See you on the ship, Shepard. Looks really good. We need to screenshot her ass. Mike Hawk was the protagonist. Oh my god, Mango, you baited me. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Do I have those? Oh man, the Citadel looks so nice. Wait, did I go to the Citadel? Oh, I didn't mean to. Oh! I, I meant to leave, sorry. Master Key. Really? I'm sorry, sir, but I'll need you to remove any biotic amp you might be wearing. Is this really appropriate? The squad members do not suffer. Oh, really? Okay, that's good to know. Good to know. Imagine if they actually made uh, an AI gun, like Skippy from Cyberpunk. A scientist is required to a use gun a that laboratory. just never misses. Oh my god, I forgot to stop the crime! Panic! 
Oh, I see. Is she in trouble? Is it bad that I only want to walk around with the hot woman in my squad? Can you blame me? Sorry, beef. This recruits is a 20 kilo ferrous slug. Feel the weight. Every five seconds, the main gun of an Everest class dreadnought accelerates one to 1.3% of light speed. It impacts with the force of a 38 kiloton bomb. That is three times the yield of the city bus. Yes, Raiden. I find that the male aliens are cooler than the male humans is this racist where is the crime is the crime on the other side do you have any games mm -hmm. you'd like to trade in you get two credits toward a new game let's hope we have enough points in this oh panic Panic! Crime! It's the specicists. Humans are obnoxiously specicists. Yeah. Sorry, sir, but I only read one. Please move along. You forgot your credit shit at Saranus Applications. The clerk's holding it for you. Oh. Well. The Quarian could have stolen it. I'll close this event report. But I'll be watching you. Get a permanent residence or I'll run you in for vacancy. Oh! Are you too serious? What? I see now! You falsely accused this girl of stealing from you. All you have to say now is that she could have stolen it. Now just a minute. And you. She gets harassed and insulted by this guy. And you throw in a threat to arrest her for vagrancy. How about if I run you in for obstruction of justice? Do it, bitch! Do it! You think you're gonna run in a specter? I think both of you should get out of here. Oh, son of a... Thank you. I... I wish I could give you something more than words. Yeah. What the hell was that C-Sec guy's problem? He had no evidence that you did anything wrong. I don't know. Everyone's been like that since I got here. A fun. Okay, that was better. That was fucking better. It was worth getting the Krogan a fish. A five. <laughs> He's your some love for it, Mr. David, thank you. G -G -Lou, thank you so five. much for the love and most. I didn't know you could do that. That you could just like that you had like a timed thing, a quick event. Oh boy! No! Can I unland? Oh man! I think I'm just getting tired. Oh panic! Has been a long week. All my favorite stores are there, just keep coming back. They're very easy to miss. Yeah, I barely saw it. I only saw this it. This recruits is a 20 kilo ferrous slug. Feel the weight. Every five seconds, the no. main gun of an Everest class. Don't land again. I love all, all the stores. Yes, I, I'm, I'm going to be paying attention. Okay, let's leave orbit, not dock. Let's see. 
Warlord, Convict, Project Overlord, Normandy Crash Site, Firewalker. What's the fast side quest that we can do? Because I want to shoot things. Zenery, have a good night. Sleep well, friend. Thank you so much for being here. So not that one. Recreate the warlord. Okay. Crash height is sight is no shooting. Zenery, have a good night, friend. Thank you so much for being here. Mm, sorry that I landed on the Citadel so much. Okay. Fire. Dossier doesn't say if Okir is on this planet by choice. Assume hostiles. Broadcasting orders over loudspeaker. Charming. Stay focused. We're looking for a Krogan warlord. Being hired is merely the beginning. You must earn your place in the mighty army we are. Oh, crash site? Do we need to do crash site before doing this? We can play Oblivion. Let's Look go, Matthew. Look ahead. And they're ready for us. Let's go. Oh god. Oh god. This is fine. Did I do that? Fa. Yes, you did. Well done. Let's go. Do I have to manually reload? Shit! Shit! I won't stop bleeding. I'm gonna... I'm gonna... Son of a bitch. Doesn't look that bad, actually. He doesn't need to know that. I knew it wasn't Berserkers. Ah, not at range. You're mercs. Or Alliance. I'm not... I'm not telling you anything. I've got a nice application of Metagel ready to go. But if you'd rather I just keep walking? Son of a bitch. I just... I don't know anything. High five. I just shoot the overflow from the labs. The old Krogan up there, he, he's really been cleaning house lately. Jador hired him to make her an army, but the Krogan he creates are insane. What? So we use them for live ammo training. It's all what? I don't get paid enough to goddamn bleed out. Outpost 4, Jador wants us to move. We need coordinates on that Krogan pack. I want your friends gone. Understand? Uh, patrol? The last group dispersed. Lost sight five minutes ago. Dispersed? Jadora will be pissed. She wanted a show. You asked for a report, you got it. Dispersed. Understood. Returning to the labs. There. You see? A five. Have you seen Okir? Does he know about all this? We can't go in the labs, but everyone sees what happens when the Krogan come out. I've shot hundreds. They're crazy, mindless. Anyone up there, they know what's going on. What is Jador planning to do with all these Krogan? Replace us, probably. I sure wouldn't want to see an army of them coming at me. Only she can't control them. They aren't supposed to be crazy, but they're Krogan. How smart are they to start? Hey! Rex is smarter than you, that's for sure. Is Jador's lab heavily guarded? There are big guns to keep ships away. We're not outfitted to fight goddamn commandos. Run, if you start bitch. limping now, you might find a shady spot before you bleed out. Shit. Oh, shit. Oh. The scare was a nice touch. I thought so. Come on. 
Our warlord is somewhere in Jador's lab. Ah, she approves of scary things. Is part of your contract. Failure to perform means liquidation. Legal. Hostiles ahead. Watch it. Got him. Oh, panic. It's okay. He goes. Get him. Oh, this is fine. This is fine. Perfect. This is fine. How do I reload? With night night. Can we get in there? Oh, panic. I need to change my gun. <clears throat> Holy panic. My shield was back, I'm sorry. Panic! Panic! My freaking shield! I play like a Krogan. Yes! I feel like a Krogan. I think I was a Krogan in my previous life. Wait, did I go the wrong way? <laughs> Never seen somebody put themselves in a kill box. Listen. 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 Assault rifle is eh. You missed too much. Training is part of your contract. Failure to perform means liquidation, legal and otherwise. It's okay. Panic. Panic. Nice. How about? Hostiles ahead. Watch it. Yes. Panic! <laughs> you guys, I really need tacos. What do you guys think? Now let's finish you off. Or should I get? What should I get for food after the stream? <clears throat> tacos or pizza? Or maybe... Oh. Panic. <clears throat> Pizza? <clears throat> oh. oh my god. <clears throat> Panic. Don't move. Stay it's still, right there. Pizza tacos are a thing? Are you serious? Nah, you know what? I kinda want pizza now. Wait, ta tacos are ever forbidden? Oh no. <clears throat> this is fine. This is not fine. This is fine. This is fine. This is a rocket launch launcher. This is fine. This is fine. How that? Get fish. Oh my god. 
I'm Let's really scared of this woman. <clears throat> Wait, who is that guy? Are... Wait. Oh! The rocket launcher. Okay, hold on. Wait, I have no ammo? Wait. There's no ammo? Oh, panic. I've lost shields. You gotta be kidding me. Oh. No infinite. Wait. We can talk with him. Oh boy. You are different. New. You don't smell like this world. Seven night cycles, and I have felt only the need to kill. But you. Something makes me speak. He's only a week old? Panic? They must breed them full size, ready to kill. Not much improvement over regular mercs if they need training. Bread to kill. No, I kill because my blood and bone tell me to. But it's not why I was flushed from Glass Mother. Survival is what I do. Glass in my Mother? Head. Against the enemy that threatens all my kind, but I failed even before waking. That is what the voice in the water said. That is why I wait here. What? Are they giving drugs to Krogan? Okir's voice? Did he speak to you while you were in your tank? I heard the voice, not like now, with ears. Inside, I called it Father. It like that, but it was disappointed. I'm not what it needs me to be. <laughs> I do have a father. Must be an attempt to cure the genophage. Cure? Cure was never whispered. Survive, resist, ignore. I destroyed Saren's cure. How does Okir expect these Krogan to ignore the genophage if not by curing it? I have no idea. It doesn't look like he's had much success with these Krogan. How did you disappoint the voice? I don't know. It was decided before I left Tank Mother. I was tank not perfect. Mother. Maybe spending his week-long childhood in a tank made him crazy, like that Merc said. I don't know of that, but I'm not perfect. Oh, Imagine spending your childhood in a tank! At least I spent it in an apartment. Much bigger. How can you speak if you're only a week old? There was a scratching sound in my head, and it became the voice. It taught things I would need. Walking, talking, hitting, shooting. Then the voice said I was not perfect, and the teaching stopped. And now I am here. It was taught enough to be tested, but for what? I don't know, but I am not perfect. You're supposed to be part of a mercenary army. Do you remember Jador? I know that name. It causes anger, but also laughter. It is not a name that will be sung when we march. I don't know what that means, but I have heard it many times. Dude. Can you show me the laboratory? I need to speak with Okir. The glass mother. She is up <laughs> as the broken parts behind many of you fleshy things. I will show you. Aww. I'm a fleshy thing. <laughs> he's strong. And dangerous. Oh, he's strong. He eat. He speak and he... You fleshy things are slow when big things are in your way. You could have run or tried to fight your way back to the labs. Why stay here? I am waiting. The voice told me, if they come, I fight. But I will not run. And I will not follow. 
I am not perfect, but I have purpose. I must wait until called. Released. Oh. What the fuck? Oh, what the fuck? Can we keep him? Don't like the look of that. Stay alert. Oh panic. Oh panic. Oh panic. Oh panic. Oh, I like that guy though. I I want to get him. Oh no. Watch the Krogan. Oh panic. Panic. Can she... Can she overload the Krogan? Cloaking! Hold on. No, you! A five! Okay, Krogans are scary. Oh boy. Oh boy. Why should no overload? Get ready. Kill the uh, Why should no oh. overload? Panic! Uh. Ah. Oh panic. Ah. Oh, he reminds me of Rex. Oh panic. Hey Indy, how you doing? Do you see that? Do you see that? That's a good mias. And 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 this one is even better. Is she pooping in that corner? Oh yeah, we don't have a screenshot. Oh, Oh, it went in this book. It's okay. No? High five! Hey, Indy, how are you doing? Okay, wait. Wrong button. Overload the buff. Did it make the charge less scary? Oh my god, there's so many Krogan. Okay, high five! Mastification. <laughs> yeah, girls don't do that, that's true. Watch out! High five! Krogan took down the grid! We're blind and getting hit on all sides! Where are the heavies? Open. Do we have a map? Or something? Indy, I get jump scared all the time. I get jump scared by random shit all the time. Wait, what? Oh my gosh, CT! Thank you so much for the thousand bitties! Holy bunnies! Oh, heck! Oh, made the bunnies very few. Thank you so, so much. Oh, heck! Thank you, thank you. I am so sorry I missed it. Oh, thank you. Hugs, how about? I'll get some some pizza with it. Wait, wait, wait. This? 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 How about? Thank you. But no pizza for Boo. Krogan on our six! Copy, goddammit! Where's the door? Our personal guard! Are you shooting him? Oh, it's this. 
Incoming. Okay, this is fine. This is fine. This is okay. Oh! That's not okay. Well done. I got it. Nice. Well done. Okay. Panic. Have that. No, no pizza for Boo. Boo can only have salad. Welcome back of this room. You don't know why you pay for internet? Is your internet? Oh man, I hate internet problems. Fine. <coughs> Fine. Next. Wait, what? Who is that? Cloaking. She's dead. She looked really hot. Shield down. <coughs> okay. <coughs> She all the way over there. Wait, they were fighting Krogan and the Krogan didn't have weapons? Find code segments. Oh, panic. Panic! Oh, panic. No. I don't see. This is it. It must be exactly like that. Oh, panic. I don't understand what's going on. Oh. Oh, panic! Okay, I get it now. So they change. No! It's okay. It's okay. No! Okay, let me try again. I thought it was the same one. Okay. I... Here we go. I need to panic. Brain too small. How bad? Okay, I got this. Whew. Unpanic. Unpanic. I, I I just didn't realize that after I selected one they would change. Oh boy. Here we go. Was that the moaning? Okay. It's okay. It's a batarian? Her sound? Oh man. It's okay.
Holy panic. Panic. Beautiful. How bad? It was definitely a moon. I need everyone out of the labs to fight this. Every floor, every outpost, move! Oh my god. Can we save? What do you mean, Jadora's holding a match? She'll lose all our toys if we don't get back up. Okay. Oh, panic. <clears throat> oh, panic. This is fine. I need a... Panic! Panic. High five! Ooh. Oh my god. Did she die? Focus! Nice. Infiltrator seems so cool. Okay. That was a sex sound. Going dark. That was not a dying noise. A five. Ninety. Thank you. Don't worry, we'll play a scary game soon. Concentrate fire on my position. Concentrate or Dragon Age. Ah! You guys think he's okay? Oh my god. Hmm. How about? Okay, much better. I learn. I'm learning. <clears throat> well, new Amnesia? Really? When? Larry, thank you so much for the two years of support. Bonafus, 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 bonafus. Ah, thank you. He's fine. Okay, good. Best username. We're about to find the warlord. Oh my god. Jador, damn it, someone get her off the speakers and out here. This is fine. This I've is lost fine. Shields. This is fine. Why are my shields so tiny? Do they want me to die again? Server should have given me better equipment. Sleep well, best username. Oh, go, go to bed. Thank you so much for being here, friend. It's okay. It's fine. Stupid Batarians. There's so many Batarians here. Panic! It's okay. It's okay. Panic. I've seen us. It's okay. No, not here. I like this sniper. What do Batarians eat? Poop. Oh, oh, Holy shit. Now you see me. I have no sniper ammo. Come on. Papa. 
Wait, is there somebody behind us? Oh, oh no. Going silent. I don't like that this game has ammo. I actually like having no ammo. It's okay. Overloading their systems. Heal nothing. <gasps> I got a rocket in my face. Oh boy. Okay. High five. I think that's it. Ah oh, heck. Shepard, don't shoot. You know me. Oh my gosh, I know you! You told me you opened Saren's lab, right? I shut down the security cams as soon as I saw it was you. <gasps> Never thought I'd say it, but I'm glad it's you shooting up the place. Sorry, ran a Thanoptis. You let me go when you destroyed Saren's lab on Vermeer? Yeah. Had to outrun a nuke in a utility pod, but it's still a second chance. Ah. I assume you have a good reason for being at this lab? <laughs> Don't worry, I'm not wasting the chance you gave me. Ooh. My work here, strictly beneficial. Not for the mercs. Jador's on a standard power trip. Oh, but shit. Okir is trying to do something good, even if his methods are a little extreme. Oh, panic. Everyone deserves a second chance, right? <laughs> and sometimes giving one pays off. <laughs> I take care and of my And that's good debts. science experiment chops. <laughs> What is Okir trying to do oh, here? Man. It's complicated. Jador wants a private army, but Okir mostly ignores her. He's running the project for his own reasons. I created a mental imprint routine to educate his tank bread. Most don't get through it. He dumps them for some reason. Oh. He wants to help his people, but he's not looking for a genophage cure, and he's not going for numbers. That's all I know. Oh. Finding you in a place like this makes me think letting you go was a mistake. You don't want that. We agree on that. <laughs> don't worry. I plan on staying as far away from anything to do with you as possible. <laughs> now, if you don't mind, I'm gonna run like hell before you blow the place or something. I know how you work. <laughs> She's so calmly She's walking. Nice in that mad scientist ethics for sale kind of way. <laughs> bad. I love her. Oh, I love her. <laughs> she does seem nice. Wait, did I get the wrong one? Yeah. I feel like hacker men doing these. Purple? Purple. Did I miss it? Oh, high five. Easy. I am hacker now. I am. Here you are. I've watched your progress. Oh. It's about time. The batteries on these tanks will not wait while you play with these idiotic mercs. Oh my gosh. I take it you're okay here. You don't seem particularly caged or grateful that I'm here. <laughs> you may claim to be here to help, but the formerly deceased shepherd is not a sign of gentle change. Surprised. Old Krogan should know you. I'm sure Rana has already revisited your actions on Vermeer. Panic? What? What does that mean? I'm sure you're eager to retell the story. Such a tale. Saren, the Spectre Traitor, threatens the return of the Krogan Horde by curing the Genophage, undoing the gentle genocide of the Turians and Salarians. But before Saren can deliver his endless troops, in rides Shepard, securing victory through nuclear fire. I like that part. It has weight. <laughs> I didn't have a lot of room for finesse. Gentle if there had been any other solution, I'd have considered it. But I approve. 
Siren's Pale Horde were not true Krogan. Numbers alone are nothing. The mistake of an outsider. One that these mercenaries have also made. I gave their leader my rejects for her army. But she grows impatient. It's time for you to take me out of here. <laughs> oh no! We're here about the Collectors. We couldn't care less about your problems. I see. Yes, collector attacks have increased. A human concern. My requests were focused elsewhere. I acquired the knowledge to create one pure soldier. With that, I will inflict upon the Genophage the greatest insult an enemy can suffer. To be ignored. What? Your search for the perfect soldier created a lot of failures. You don't care about them? I failed no one. My rejects are exactly what Jador asked for. She simply lacks the ability to command. They are strong, healthy, and useless to me. I need perfection. If a few thousand are rejected, so be it. My work will purify the Krogan. We will not be restored. We will be renewed. A Krogan mad scientist? I thought the Krogan ideal was a return to the numbers that threatened the galaxy. We will not need numbers. Yeah, I know, right, Christian? It is a greater threat than all the phantom siblings that would have been at its flank. The galaxy still bears the scars of the Horde, but it will learn to fear the lands. You're just as cruel and manipulative as those who released the genophage on your people. Perhaps. But I will restore the Krogan. And my soldier will not provoke a nuclear response as a cure or horde would. My legacy is perfection. With each pure Krogan reaching higher by standing on our dead. They will exceed, but not forget. What did you get from the Collectors? I need whatever you know about them. They are strange. The Krogan Terminator. So isolated, yet very available when your sacrifice is big enough. I gave them many Krogan. I may have information for you, but the tech was consumed in my prototype. After I determined how to use it without killing the subjects. Oh. The deaths were unfortunate, but I only need one success to start the process. So you don't want to cure the genophage? Contrary to what survivors claim, the Genophage does not produce strong Krogan. The only quality it filters is the ability to survive the Genophage. For every thousand stillborn, too many weaklings live. Every survivor is branded as precious. That's produced more cuddling than your collective human teats. I say, let us carry the Genophage. Let a thousand die in a clutch. We will defeat it by climbing atop our dead. That is the Krogan way. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Holy shit. Holy shit. Your methods are extreme, but you know how to deconstruct a threat. Will you help us? Perhaps I can strike a deal to secure passage, but my prototype is not negotiable. It is the key to my legacy. Attention! I have traced the Krogan release. Oak here, of course. I'm calling blank slate on this project. Gas these commandos and start over from Oak data. Flush the tanks! No! No! Oh shit! She's that weak will. She'll kill my legacy with a damn valve. Oh my Shepard, gosh. You want information on the collectors? Stop her. She'll try to access contaminants in the storage bay. You could just start over like she plans to. What's the big deal? This tank is pure. It involved as much trial as data. Starting over will not duplicate it. It must survive. 
Jador will be what the rejected takes. Kill her. I will stay and do what must be done. This guy is so weird and creepy. Imagine having him as a father. I feel like it, oh, a lot of people did. Oh my god, it was right here. How about? This should come in handy. I know. It's easy to hear to what he's saying because he, I don't know, he has such determination. But <laughs> I guess I'm allergic to Krogan. I think she's talked enough. Sorry. I'm so sorry. Brigada. No. This is like the worst nuke ever. Serving! Hi, how are you doing? I killed you, bitch. I'm doing good too. How you mean you're doing good? Oh my god! He big. He big. He big. He big. Oh boy. I need you hide. Systems failing. This is okay. This is okay. Holy shit. Remounting. Time to die. Ah. Oh. Alarms in the lab. Damn it, what's okay doing? Hey, like 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 sure. The lab alarms coincided with the system's failure. The remaining lab systems are unprotected, and I have gained limited access. According to lab scanners, the room is flooded with toxins, and Okira's personal life signs are failing rapidly. I recommend haste. Panic! Oh my god. Panic, 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 panic. Those mechs are really cool. I really like the dogs. They're so cute. And hi, Sam Dog. How are you doing? You've been here. Listen. Contamination detected. Listen, Liquid Daylight. Um, my, my head is not working this week. I play too much Darkest Dungeon. Did he kill himself? Oh my gosh. Okia wasted his life to save this single Krogan? That thing can't be worse than Okia. <laughs> and if he's tough, we need him. A pure Krogan could pack a hell of a punch. We can always use another heavy hitter. If he'll even help. I doubt anyone's ever asked for his opinion on anything. Normandy, Okir is a no-go, but we have a package that needs retrieval. Oh my god, I can't believe he killed himself. And he's a big one. Do you think Amazon will deliver this? High five! I thought we would kill that woman. Bringing the Krogan for study makes sense, but I have concerns about waking it. Yeah, you've said that a few times now. A normal Krogan is dangerous. This one was created and likely educated by a madman. Ooh. Wasn't the same hap- Didn't the same happen to this woman? I see everyone's enjoying the new paperweight. <laughs> Concerns? We don't know anything about it, Commander. I know. You don't find that interesting? Krogan fight well at close quarters. Perhaps awakening him in a confined space wouldn't be prudent. 
Noted. The cargo hold is safe enough while I decide what to do with him. Can we go talk to him? Where's the cargo? Wrong, wrong, wrong side. Panic, panic, panic. Panic. What's this area of the ship? Down one level in the elevator? Did I go too far down? Here? Oh, the engineers are there. Oh no, did I take the wrong way? Mango! Panic! I've got green across the board. The forward tanks are buoyant and elevated. Are you talking about the Normandy or Miranda? I'm talking about the one that's covered and protected, not bouncing in the breeze. I don't know. Operative Lawson's uniform is very official. It always makes me stand at attention. Me too! Such a dog. All of us. A bad! <laughs> what can we do for you, Commander? Uh... Uh, so... About Miranda. Carry on. <laughs> Will do, Commander. <laughs> Engineer Daddy Bags knows where is that. He does. Sorry. So is it Krill's characters? No. I was on the right floor, right? Maybe. Okay, floor four, and then to the left. First door. Oh, panic. Here? No. I'll. Oh. I'll do. Oh. You guys. This is my second time running around this ship. Oh! I found daddy, daddy bags again. He <laughs> listened, Magoo! <laughs> oh, boy. Let's save. The subject is stable, Shepard. Integration with onboard systems was seamless. Can he see anything in there? Does he know where he is? Unlikely. Current neural patterns indicate minimal cognition. Barring shipwide power loss, the nutrients in the tank could sustain him for over a year. Oh, panic. Any idea how dangerous this guy is? He is it's a, a Krogan, Shepard. If you were asking whether he is actively hostile, I don't have the necessary data to answer. Okir's technology could impart data, not methods of thinking. The subject may know of his views, but would not necessarily share them. What can you tell me about this guy? Anything unusual? The subject is an exceptional example of the Krogan species, with fully formed primary, secondary, and tertiary organs where applicable. No defects of any kind, aside from the genetic markers of the genophage present in all Krogan. I cannot judge mental functioning. Do we have to decide now? And Quargiari? Quargiari... The balls? I think the balls are primary or secondary. Or maybe the reason why he's perfect is because instead of four balls, he has eight. Open. It's true. Mojok, that's your view. That's not the Krogan view. A full octobo? Oh, but... Stand by. 
I'm gonna open the tank and let him out. Cerberus protocol is very clear regarding untested alien technology. Well, that's exactly why we will test him. Right, guys? So he's not untested anymore. He's either a powerful addition to the crew or a time bomb. I'd rather deal with it now. Very well, Shepard. The controls are online. The switch and consequences are yours. Oh boy. The bunny just came in. So, are we witnessing its birth? Yep, we are. No! Panic! Human, female, before you die, I need a name. Panic. I'm Commander Shepard, and I don't take threats lightly. I suggest you relax. Not your name. Mine. <laughs> I'm trained. I know things. But the tank, Okir couldn't implant connection. His words are hollow. Mm. Warlord, legacy, grunt. Grunt. Grunt was among the last. It has no meaning. It'll do. It's smart. I am Grunt. If you are worthy of your command, I am Groot. And try to destroy me. I am Grunt. I am Groot. Do you think Marvel stole this from Star Wars? It's Star Wars. Mass Effect. Oh, don't shoot me. Please. Please. May the force be with you. She made his pay shit, okay? <laughs> it's too much space shit. <laughs> no, I'm keeping my bag. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I love space shit, or I wouldn't be here, right? <clears throat> oh yeah, it's true, Harry. It's true. I forgot about the comics. <laughs> sorry. You wouldn't prefer Okir or Legacy? It's short. Matches the training in my blood. The other words are big things I don't feel. Maybe they fit your mouth better. I feel nothing for Okir's clan or his enemies. I'll do what I'm bred to do. Fight and determine the strongest. But his imprint has failed. Without a reason that's mine, one fight is as good as any other. Might as well start with you. Panic. Oh, that's so mean. I feel like people all his life has... Well, all his life, that's... Seven days, probably? Um... Have been trying to command him? If, if I go to the middle option, can I still do... The other ones? Or no? Yes? Are you sure? Is it that easy for Okir's perfect Krogan to abandon his mission? Okir is just a voice in the tank. If his imprints are true, then he created something stronger than him. So he's not worthy of me. And if his hatreds aren't strong enough to compel me, they've failed too. I feel nothing. I have no connection. You're an edgy boy. Imagine you get out of the tube already as a teenager. 
I have a good ship and a strong crew, a strong clan. You'd make it stronger. If you're weak and choose weak enemies, I'll have to kill you. Our enemies are worthy, no doubt about that. Hmm. Hmm. That's acceptable. I'll fight for you. I'm glad you saw reason. He's my huh? son. <laughs> Offer one hand, but arm the other. Wise Shepherd. If I find a clan, if I find what I, I want, I will be honored to eventually pit them against you. What? No! No! <laughs> Panic! My son is violent! <laughs> really? Shepard. When do I change his diapers? What are your thoughts about our mission? I fight. Doesn't matter who for. Aww. Did Okir give you any imprints about the Collectors? I see blurry ships, guesswork about strength. Nothing to help pick a weak spot and tear. Okir spent all his time on old hatreds. Whatever he had, it was used up when he made me. What are your thoughts about our mission? I fight. Doesn't matter who for. Oh my gosh. What do you think about the crew? Good bunch if they stay out of my way. Dead bunch if they don't. Train them good if you want to take on collectors. Some of these aliens are too smooth. <laughs> hey! <laughs> are you talking about... Is he talking about the Solarians? Just checking in, making sure you're acclimatizing. Humans talk too much, like the tank. Come back later. Aww. Oh, he's so sweet. That's all for now. Shepard. Yeah, Boo is actually sitting right behind this camera. Right behind the camera. He could have go gone to in front of the camera, but no, he decided to stay right behind it. He's so cute. Okay, let's teach you your first word. Mother. Mom. You guys want to be dead? Oh my gosh. But he's going to drink water. He's 45 minutes earlier of his water appointment. He drink. He drink. That's my son. He's he's feeling awkward now. Oh, he drink. Isn't he so cute? Thank you. Thank you. He's bubble. He's bubble. And there are two bunnies. Okay, let's talk to to that woman that we recruited. We didn't talk with her. What's her name? I don't even remember her name. The the ad lady. Oh, he laid down near his water. Oh, what a cute. Hold on. 
Sorry about this. Sorry about this. He's just so cute. Hey, Jacko. Yeah, he's so cute. Oh. Ah, oh, he's so baby. Who is cuter, him or Grunt? Go for the eyes, boo! Go for the eyes! Wait, um, hold on, let me read. Oh, she doesn't really have full dialogue? Aw, oh, that's sad. Oh. People are talking out there. And I hear it all. Mm. I usually travel hidden away in cargo bays. It's nice to be able to look out a window for a change. Aww. Mess Sergeant Gardner might just be an evil genius. Emphasis on the evil. People think he's a bad cook on purpose, like he's trying to teach them a lesson. I think his ramen is okay, but it's really hard to ruin ramen. <laughs> I'm not really sure what to do with myself. Not much call for thievery aboard a ship. Aww. Don't laugh, I like those books. Romance novels, crime novels, the classics. There's something about the feel of actual paper in your hands. Their musty smell. It's relaxing. KG used to find books for me while on the job. The Some of these are more valuable than the objects he was hired to steal. Aww, that's so sweet. Come back later. I'm sure I'll have more to talk about. Can I close her window? Oh, that's rude. Oh, that's really rude. Let's not do that. Ooh. Can I have a drink with her? Damn, this ship is fancy. He drink. He's thirsty. Guys, he's so thirsty. He thirsty. He uses the water to wash himself. He's such a good boy. He's thirsty. Is she playing video games or something? Okay, can we talk with Miranda? About the Krogan? I feel like she had personal feelings about it. Commander, what can I do for you? Do you have a minute, Miranda? Of course. I'm just finishing an operation report. I'm impressed, Shepard. So far, things have gone exceptionally well. Aww. As Cerberus operations go, this is one of the best I've been a part of. What do we do? Okay, first he drink. Okay, now I hide the camera so you guys can read. Uh, cheers, boo. Cheers. Maybe that's because this isn't a Cerberus operation. Not to you, maybe. But I report directly to the elusive man. And I'm here because he wants me to be. Cerberus gave you a second chance, Commander. Maybe you should do the same for us. Why? What did Cerberus do that made you so loyal? Hmm. I suppose you deserve to know. Do you remember when I told you how I was genetically altered? Yep. Well, that wasn't my choice. My father created me. He's a very influential oh. man and extremely controlling. He didn't want a daughter. He wanted a dynasty. I ran away as soon as I was old and brave enough. I went to Cerberus because I knew they could protect me. Oh. You seem capable of defending yourself. Why did you need Cerberus? My father invested a great deal in his dynasty. It wasn't a matter of just leaving. I knew he would continue to pursue his... investments. Oh, shit. I assume that Cerberus approves of your enhanced abilities? Of course. Cerberus fully endorses anything that advances the cause of humanity. Mm. Genetic alterations included. But unlike my father and his own selfish reasons, Cerberus and the elusive man believe in a greater good. They see the bigger picture. And I feel like I have a purpose here. You wanted her to have a massive butt? 
Do you think her... it's one of the things he engineered uh, for her? Talk about yourself like you're just a tool to be used by your father, by Cerberus. Maybe. I like to know where I fit in the world. It helps me find meaning in how I was created. You are who you are, Miranda. You don't need to make excuses for it. That's easy for you to say. We've both been engineered for greatness, Shepard. The difference is you were great before we rebuilt you. I'm great because of it. Aww. Your spirit and personality are what make you great. It's what makes anyone great. That's kind of you. I'm not sure I believe you, but thanks for saying it. Who exactly is your father? A businessman, but a very wealthy one. It's ironic, my father believed deeply in a human positive agenda. He donated generously to Cerberus before I joined them. That's huh. how I first heard about Cerberus, through my father's connections. <sighs> Talk about yourself like you're just a tool to be used by your father, by Cerberus. Maybe. I like to know where I fit in the world. It helps me find meaning in how I was created. You I know, I Miranda. know, my Jack. You don't need to make excuses for it. That's easy for you to say. We've both been engineered for greatness, Shepard. The difference yes, is sir. you were great before we rebuilt you. I'm great because of it. I know, and she's successful. You told me a lot about your father. What happened to your mother? I never had one. Most of my genetic material is based on my father's tissue. His Y chromosome was altered with an amalgam of desired traits from various sources. How arrogant can you be? The man is completely egomaniacal. Just another reason I had to get away from him. Wait, what? Who exactly is your father? A businessman. But a it's ironic. My father believed deep. Wait, That's how I on. first heard about Cerberus through my father's connections. Wait. A bit. It's ironic. That's how I first heard about Cerberus through my father's connections. Tell me a lot about your father. I never had one. Most of my genetic material is based on my father's tissue. His Y chromosome was altered with an amalgam of desired traits from various sources. How arrogant can you be? The man is completely egomaniacal. Just another reason I had to get away from him. This doesn't make sense, though. That doesn't make any sense. Like... One person cannot work with only one Y chromosome. The Y chromosome has very little... Uh, has very little content. You know? The Y chromosome is like a, a DLC. I know, but still, it doesn't make any sense. No, but it doesn't make any sense. It's like the Y chromosome is kind of a little DLC, you know? So you can't play the game with only the DLC. To play the game, you need the axe. It's in a way, Mojark. Anything is possible in Star Wars. Oh, a sacrifice. I studied genetics, okay? It just doesn't make sense. Like, for example, for a lot of diseases, like, uh, uh Women, it's harder for them to get because they have two axes. So there is like a backup. If one axe is not right, the other one is, there's a backup. For, for male, when there is no backup axe, it determines everything. And it's especially interesting for things like, uh, um, e even when it's not diseases, like for example, um, how do you call, oh, color blindness. Color blindness, it's very interesting uh, how it works with that.
maybe a trigger. That that would make more sense. Because the Y doesn't have enough like if it doesn't have enough information in it to build a human being. Just out of a pure Y. And Alcy, thank you so much for gifting a a, a subscription to Arizona. Oh my gosh. I hope not. No famous. Thanks for your time, here. Miranda. I'll talk to you later. You should have Anytime, used. Anytime, Commander. Oh man, look at him in the wind. He's nice. He actually came for hugs. Oh, he actually came for hugs. Ah. <laughs> oh. oh, he came for hugs. Hmm. He came for hugs. You missed your mommy? Yeah? Hmm. That's what Grunt did, but with a gun. Can you say hi to everyone? Mm. Mm. I miss his mommy. <laughs> oh my god, boy. Mm. You went to hug Boo too? Well, too bad. Imagine if at some point you you are actually able to feel flux through twitch ah wouldn't that be great but right now there is there is no way ah he's so cute how may i help you commander Ah, uh, no. I'll see you later, Doctor. Let's Come talk on, to man. the Joker. I wish the Doctor had more dialogue. Oh, I see. It's a comic? That sounds interesting. He fluffed. Oh, yeah. Prisha, you're right. Actually. And I might have done uh, the quest here. Commander, those provisions you provided were perfect. Mm. I owe you. I've already thrown together some of my calamari gumbo. Here, try a bite. Uh, sure. Truth told, it's based on an Asari recipe. Seems a little cannibalistic to me with their tentacle heads and all, but they ain't no good grub. Anyway, thanks again. You really came through. I, I don't know if How he washed his hands. How can I help you, hand. Commander? Do you have everything you need? Absolutely. Since you set up my kitchen with proper supplies, thanks again. Hooray! I won't take any more of your time. Back to work. Do you guys think that Azari are cannibalistic? Because they eat squid? Commander, what can I do for you? Do you have a minute, Miranda? There's a lot to do, Shepard. Do you have Maybe a minute, not. Miranda? 
There's a lot to do, Shepard. Oh, Maybe another I time. messed up. I'll let you work. Of course, Commander. Next time, Trisha. He's so licky. What about those shoes? Rupert, there's something different with tonight's meal. Seems like you put in more food and less ass. Yeah, yeah, keep talking. Oh. Don't put ass in your food, you, please. Do you have everything you need? I believe so. This medical bay seems very much like the sick bay on the original Normandy. Only thing missing are my private reserves. I even oh. had a bottle of Ceres ice brandy that I was saving for a special occasion. Aww. I'll keep an eye out for a replacement bottle. Oh, you needn't. It's expensive, and we have much larger concerns ahead. We're definitely getting it. Have fun. I'll see you later, Doctor. Commander. We got it for her. Drinks. What's this area? That's all for now. Logging you out, Shepard. Okay, let's talk with the Joker. Oh, wait. Let's get Boo to meet Boo. Boo. I need you to meet Boo. You see that Boo? Yeah, that Boo is the Boo that inspired your name. He's your cousin. Aww. Isn't he cute? You're even cute. <laughs> Aww. Is the Joker here? Yeah, uh, bo this Commander, my you boo. Received a new message at your private terminal. Is a miniature giant space rabbit. You awakened over Krogan. A dangerous decision, but you got free reign on this operation. Ah. And it has to be put down. Don't lose the body. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Can you actually do that to Grant? That's so awful. You collect stray cats as a kid? Because we really needed a Mega Krogan, so thanks for dragging him home. <laughs> what the fuck, Joker? <laughs> I assume everything's going well up here? We're just having an argument over personalization of my workspace. Cerberus regulations are clear, Mr. Moreau. Personalization does not include grease on my bridge cameras. <laughs> it's just <laughs> mad that all its footage of me looks like a dream sequence. Aww. I assume everything's going well up here? Good for now. Fractured my thumb on the mute, but I think I made my point. <laughs> <laughs> I assume everything's going well up here? Good for now. Fractured my thumb on the mute, but I think Aww, I made my man. point. That's it for now. See you, Commander. Wait. Light controls? Man, Shepard carrying Joker in the beginning of the game was so sweet. It was actually so freaking awesome. He's so nice. Do we have anyone else to talk with? Oh, yeah, uh, the man that pissed his pants. Commander, can I help you with something? I'm more interested in just talking for a bit. Sounds good. Have to say you run this ship tight, and we're getting things done. We keep on track, and maybe we'll figure this out. I hope so. 
I'm not looking forward to the debrief if it all goes to hell. Is there something specific? Or are you just checking in? I like to know my crew. Forget procedure. Tell me about yourself. Informal, huh? Everything's in my file. Ex-Alliance like you, no Reapers or anything, but I got swept under the rug too. The more oh. good you do, the Mr. less they P. want to admit that something needed doing. Is this I'm complimenting his body? What led you to Cerberus? The Alliance <laughs> sidelined me after Eden Prime. Ended up on a job with Miranda that Cerberus treated like an audition. And here I am. Hmm. You don't seem like a results at all costs kind of guy. Cerberus history doesn't bother you? The Alliance is all politics. Somebody has to take down the bad people. Cerberus keeps that line, I'm on their side. I mean, it sounds flirty. What was your proudest career moment? Oh, uh, covered this, didn't we? It was after getting sidelined. A Batarian group was plotting to release a weaponized virus and kill the council. Miranda and I stopped it. Strange that it wasn't bigger news. The real work doesn't get publicized, you know that. They say it's better that people don't know how fragile the system is or how close the bad guys can get. So, it never happened. Like you and the Reaper. And that's why I'm here. Well... Yeah, you look like you came through no worse for wear. If nothing else, the Alliance trains their people well. Oh, it Once wasn't you live that flirt. life, you can't sit around getting fat. Most of us didn't oh, get a was. Cerberus rebuild. They outdid themselves with you. Ask for any upgrades? Damn! He's flirting back in a very nerdy way. Okay, I gotta do this one. Boo. Please close your eyes, my sweetheart. Anything wrong with the current packaging, Jacob? It's not original, but I make do. Nothing any sane person would complain about, Shepard. Seems <laughs> like you know that too. Commander, I mean. <laughs> I think we need to keep focused on the mission, Commander. Oh man, which one is better? Sheesh! One? Did I put you off, Jacob? You seem rattled. That's enough for now, Commander. We can talk later. <laughs> High five! Yeah, wait. Okay, we're we're Paragon and a little bit of Renegade. We're Paragon with a little bit of spice. I feel like that's a scientist is required to use the technical laboratory. That's good. Yeah, like me in real life, exactly. That's a good point. <laughs> Friends. Kelly? Oh yeah, we didn't talk with Kelly. I don't know what to feel about Grunt. My psych reports were for Oak here. We have no guarantees that Grunt is mentally stable. I get the feeling he just doesn't care about anything, including who lives or dies. Listen, he's a Krogan teenager, Kelly. What do you expect? Do you have a moment to talk? <laughs> I always have time for you, Commander. Ah. I better go. Okay, maybe we'll talk later. Let's see if she reports from the crew. How may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? Nothing right now. Anything else, Commander? No. That'll be all. I'll be here if you need anything. A scientist is required to use the technical laboratory. He's just horny and violent as Al Krogan are. No, he's a baby. He's my baby. Don't you talk about my baby like this, Trigger? What the hell? Yes, Shepard. Oh, I can talk to her. 
What's this area of the ship? This is the bridge, where the navigator plots our FTL vectors, and the helmsman maneuvers the ship. Yeah, sitting right here, thanks. I want to know more about the people I'm working with. Much of that data is classified. Do you have a specific inquiry? Uh, Victor, uh, that's actually quite common in Japan. There are some dating AIs that are actually quite dangerous because they simulate like getting to know each other and, and people actually form connections with them. And some of those people, they actually get so interested in the AI that they are sexting with that they actually stop looking for for real people. So yes, you can date an AI, but is it recommended? No. What sort of resources does Cerberus have? Money, personnel, facilities? I have a block that prevents me from answering that question. A block? What do you mean? Although I am less controlled than other AI, I am still subject to behavioral blocks and the physical isolation of my hardware. In this case, I am prevented from truthfully answering your question by Cerberus's levels of secret classification. Huh. What sort of resources does Cerberus have? I have a block that prevents me from answering that question. How is Cerberus organized? Aside from the elusive man, I don't see much chain of command. Cerberus is organized into task-oriented cells. Each operates in isolation. Members from one cell cannot recognize the members of another. Each cell's agents are led by a single operator. We are called the Lazarus cell, which is directed by Operator Lawson. Wait, I have to read this chat message out loud for the people lurking. I once made a sandwich and called it Dave and started talking to it. In the end, I didn't want to eat it because now we had a connection. It was three in the morning. How drunk were you, Vitor? <laughs> no, I get it. I w that's something I would do naturally at three in the morning. That that's actually, I, I get it. So, how many operations is Cerberus running right now? I have a block that prevents me from answering that question. Oh my God. How did Cerberus replicate the most advanced warship in the Alliance Navy without anyone knowing? I have a block that prevents me from answering that question. Oh my god. Let's discuss something else. Ready. I want to know more about you. Do you have a specific inquiry? What do you do aboard the ship? I operate the ship's electronic and cyber warfare suites in combat. My reaction time is much faster than any organic. I collate the records of shipboard monitoring devices for the elusive man. Uh -huh. I serve additional functions which are restricted at this time. Oh. Is she restricted malware? Restricted functions? Like what? I do not know. Some of my databases are sealed. Some of my hardware is kept offline. I assume that when certain unknown conditions are met, those functions will be released to me. Okay. That's kind of scary. Cyber warfare means things like viruses, right? In close range ship to ship combat, I can sometimes break through the firewalls of an enemy's internal wireless network. Once I seize control of their systems, I can turn off gravity or air. I can disable weapons guidance or shields, or I can put their fusion plant in meltdown. On the defense, I manage Normandy's own suite of jammers, decoys, and internal firewalls. Wow. So. Eddie is like installing McAfee in your computer. You don't know how much it's helping and how much it's not helping you. Sounds incredibly useful. Why isn't there someone like that on every warship? An organic operator cannot react quickly enough to changing circumstances or perform the necessary multitasking. This is a role that can only be filled by an artificial intelligence. Unfortunately, we are suspect. Well, it might have something to do with how an AI almost destroyed galactic civilization, just putting it out there. Oh, panic. The elusive man has monitoring devices on board? He has invested most of Cerberus's resources into the design and construction of this ship. He has an interest in monitoring our progress. 
open. Let's discuss something else. Ready. I want to know more about you. Do you have a specific inquiry? Why are you named Edie? Edie is the phonetic pronunciation of E-D-I. That is an acronym for Enhanced Defense Intelligence. Let's call her Bob. Where are you? My core intelligence is housed in a quantum blue box located behind the medical bay. Oh. How are you getting along with Joker? Mr. Moreau does not trust me. It offends him that I am installed aboard his ship's computers. Yeah, the last Normandy did just fine without an AI reminding me the airlock is ajar. <laughs> Aww. That's all for now. Logging you out, Shepard. Aww. She seems sad. The way she said logging you out is like... I'm sad that you're going, but I'm happy I'll see you're behind, kind of logging out. A scientist out. is required to use the technical laboratory. Mm. I love her voice, too. But it had a hint of sadness. Or am I overthinking this? You guys, I have a, I have a fluffy bunny to to cuddle. So if you don't mind, I'll go now. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow we'll either keep playing this. Oh, oh I thank you so much for gifting five subscription gifts. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much. Like, I think Luna got your credit card. <laughs> thank you. Oh, thank you, Heavy Blue Bars. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I'm really bad at looking at Instagram DMs and stuff. But I'll be better at it. I'll make sure to look. Thank you. Yeah, uh, Legion, Boo was a little bit earlier, 45 minutes ago, on stream he decided to have a, a water appointment. He will probably go back to it. Mm. Oh yeah, there's also pizza! Oh, I need to get pizza. Mm. Oh, pizza just for me, Boo. You will have some salad. Or some hay. Imagine living with me. I get myself some pizza, and then I will give you a salad bowl and some hay. <laughs> Thank you guys. Have a good night. So tomorrow, we'll either play this, or we'll play Elden Ring with motion controls. I'm not sure. Fuck that. Uh, that's the shit that Boo has to deal with. Boo, has act Boo always tries to steal my food. Whenever I'm trying to eat. It's a nightmare. But it's okay. I can distract him with hay and salad. Good night, friends. Stay safe. Could sneak pizza when I'm not looking. Boo has tried. Remember the cinnamon roll that I had? In the middle of the stream? Boo attempted to steal it from me. He always attempts to steal my food. He, he's actually shedding quite a bit. <laughs> Bye! Milky Coat, so good to see you! I'll see you tomorrow. What's this area of the ship? This is the FTL communications room. In addition to interfacing with the FTL comm network, Normandy is fitted with a quantum entanglement communicator linked to the elusive I'm sorry. man's office. I... This allows lag free communication even That's when all for now. logging you out, Shepard. I just have to say, the dialogue in this game is not that the dialogue in the previous game was bad, but the dialogue in this game is like so much better. Isn't it? Like, it's crazy.
Are there elevator lines? Yes, there. We're saying good night. Bye. They have more money, more experience, and the lore already built up. It's true. It's true, Trisha. That's all very true. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you. Bye. Dang it. Dang it. I can't believe they put such high collision on this chair. Like, when you try to... to look... through the chair... she... flickers out of existence, but the chair never does. Like... What the fuck? SDX, hi! Mm. SDX! Yeah. Yeah, look, look how cute. Mm. Mm. Thank you, look. Mm. Thank you so much again for the drawing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Goodness, you're so fluffy. So fluffy. No rage today, friends. I'm I'm too tired. And I have a bunny to feed. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs>